take a second and have a look to make sure that it is going live. Yes, there we are. Perfect. Let's see. We got anybody here yet? Anybody checking out the stream right now? Let me see you in the chat. Well, I know we've got our first competitor here. First matchup is going to be Angui, I'm going to go with. Maybe it's Anguish, but it's missing an H. And Sud. So those are our first two players here. Angui has made it in. Is that a French word or something? Uh, maybe? I'm going to Google it. Is there, a, is there an X at the end? No. A-N-G-U-I-S. Oh, it's an S. So it's anguish without the H at the end. It's Latin, apparently. Huh. What does it mean? It's a snake, serpent, or dragon. Ooh. That does sound like a, a gamer tag right there. Even if it's not, I think you should say it is. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> so th that would be pronounced like anguiz then think i'm a little rusty on my latin and by that okay. i mean i never studied it <laughs> pronunciation okay yeah it does mean snake to english uh, anguis that's how you say it anguis okay oh wait they say anguis hang on what anguis anguis yeah interesting that's a well, fire name, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> That's a pretty fire game tag. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Even if it's anguish. Did the word like, anguish derive from that? Like, maybe, like, a snake bite? Wait. What does... That'd be wild. Just, like, anguish. type etymology anguish. Uh, what does the word anguish uh, originate? Gotta be. Let's see. Egyptian this might cause a. We get this word from a Latin word. Oh, it's Augustus. Which means narrow. But which then, does sound like it would be related to a snake, because the snake is narrow. Then, but developed a figurative sense of distressed. Think uh, like being like choked tight. off or forced into a small space. Okay, okay. Not, that was that was not what I was expecting at all. Okay. Interesting. Quite the change. Well, we're still waiting on Sud to pop into the stream here. Once they're here, we can get things going. Oh, okay. We have word from Syncrity, our uh, TO here. Sud says they need a minute to restart their internet, but they should be good soon. So, we should be ready in just a minute.
All right, hey, everybody. Uh, I'm making spaghetti. Who wants some? Does it have meatballs? It has a few... I, I don't know whether you'll approve. Uh, they are the kind of, like, vegetarian meatballs that don't actually have meat in them. They taste a little I've different. Had... They're not bad. I think I've had that. Yeah, I think I've had vegetarian meatballs, and they were, like, they were, like, you know... You can't eat it thinking like a meatball meatball, but like them and themselves are pretty good. So Banky wants some. The Yasser Mancer wants some. You might so you, need to uh, you are cook some a, more. <laughs> a, a wizard of, of, of Yasser or Yasser? You raise all the Yassers from the grave and use them as puppets to do your bidding. Well, we'll raise some spaghetti for you, too. Yeah, we'll raise these noodles from the dead. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that, that the literal plot of Overcooked? <laughs> Wait. Wait a second. <laughs> Wait, but it... Wait. There it is lore is. here. I mean, we've <laughs> also got the... Uh, the Church of the Flying Spaghetti Monster to weigh in on this. After reading aloud from the fabled Necro Nom Nom icon, he has cooked up a whole new problem in the form of an undead bread. He literally brought to life bread. The Necro Nom 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 icon. Yeah. Like... If you can raise bread, right? Well, pasta is also a grain product. Does that. this not suggest the possibility of a pasta mancer? Overcooked three, it's going to be with spaghetti men instead of bread. <laughs> <laughs> we've, <laughs> we've spoiled it. The creators would not be happy. Sud tells us they are currently in the process of joining. Fingers crossed that they appear in our lobby before the lobby <laughs> closes itself due to inactivity. Until it hopefully doesn't cripple itself. Yeah, we've got to be pretty close to getting kicked out here. Mm -hmm. I think it's, what, like 10 minutes? Uh, yeah, I think, that, yeah, 10 minutes sounds right. So, yeah, we're, <laughs> we are probably within two minutes of it closing. All right. Tell you what, Anguis, hop into the ring real quick. Let's get a match going. I will just SD out, but this way we can keep the lobby going and not have to restart. Now he gave away his character. Look what you've done. <laughs> Ah, this was all a ruse. Anguise knows. He's pulling out Bowser. There you go. For those that don't know, we love Bowser in this house. <laughs> <laughs> Bowser's number one fan on the mic with me here. Correct. What, the worst Smash player, however, the biggest Bowser fan in Smash. I also like Luigi. You can't, you can't hate Luigi. Luigi, I. Um, oh, the missile, so funny, <laughs> so funny. All right. We've saved the lobby. Now we just need Sud. We've SD'd to give SUD a chance. I'm, I'm done. I'm sorry. <laughs> Thanks for coming, guys. <sighs> We're gonna end the stream. <laughs> I, I've been fired. Yeah, this will be the last time you uh, you you hear uh, Jem. This is this is it. Yeah, archive this in the history books. I am uh, also. Over. I will also be quitting Splatoon. Uh, I will be moving. I... <laughs> okay, they said their internet died again. We're gonna DQ them to losers to give them time to maybe get it sorted out. So uh, congratulations, Anguise. Um, let's go build different let's, uh, let's let's play some super smash brothers while we wait for another match <laughs> that fox just something else bro unmatched beat that so guy without even it. touching him 
Smash so hard, broke his internet. <laughs> Oh man, he's flexing on me with his dash dance. Looking like a melee player. I got the two frame, let's go. Ah, and I pressed up A instead of up B. <laughs> and he went down to try and shine spike me. Ah, uh, beautiful. Now, has there been any uh, rumors of a new ultimate character coming out? Uh, we did recently get Kazuya. Um, okay, okay. That was, I think, a, a month ago or so? Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh my god. Characters. What was that game? Nothing legitimate happened in that entire game. <laughs> that was just all bad. Uh, let me take a quick look at the Discord and see if Syncrity's got another match lined up. Okay, it's going to be Ukthar, who I'm assuming is, 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 is Rarg and Starf here. Starf, I assume, is, is Starfy, which is who he's got as his icon. But, uh, yeah, as long as that's Ukthar, then we've got ourselves a match. I'm also going to pull up the challenge bracket here, make sure that I've got the names correct according to the bracket. Yes, this is Ukthar, who is the first seed, in case that means anything. Not sure if it does. I'm not sure how much seeding information we were able to get. But hey, it's not a good, not a bad spot for them to be in, you know? All right. So... We're going to guess that Angui stays. They're probably going to be going through their stage striking procedure at this point, so they'll need a minute, or maybe not. Or not at all. And they're both playing Fox. We've got a okay, Fox ditto. Okay. It's, it's like we're back in melee all over again. So, Ukthar is that Fox. Angui's is that Fox. Boom. All right, here it is. Oh, interesting. Using the shorten to juke him there. Make him think that he needed to run forward to get the punish. That is really tricky. It's gimmicky, but it's tricky. Ooh, a little lag coming in there. Remember, everybody, uh, you need to be using your, your, your ethernet, connect, ethernet adapters. If you're not using your ethernet adapters, then we might be sad. Or wait for the OLED switch to come out and then just use the built-in Ethernet connection that they finally decided that the switch needed. <laughs> and of course they did so at the cost of a USB port, so now Is it's going to be even harder to use at tournaments. No, no way they took out the USB port. They took out a USB port for that, yeah. It so now it's like, one. if you've got a speaker, a uh, controller adapter, and you want to connect it through USB for streaming purposes or something, you're out of luck. You can only pick two of the three. Oh. That's actually, that's actually terrible. There was plenty of room to put another USB. to just have both of them. Yeah. Okay, strong smash, okay. It's like, like the on. MacBook Air problem, like... Yeah, it's slim, but it doesn't have any USB ports or an Ethernet port, so why would I want this laptop? And we did that <laughs> so we could sell you the hub. <laughs> like, okay. 89%, okay. Angui's in a pretty commanding lead right now. It's pretty much full stock. Uh -oh. Ooh, that one was spooking me for a second. Yeah, that that one was just long enough that I was that was actually petrified. Mm -hmm. Got a couple of up airs. 
Trying to keep that juggle going, but not for too long. Good Nair. Knocks him down. Gets him off stage. Where's the edge guard? Not there. And that, ooh, beautiful combo from Anguise on the reversal. Okay. Uthar first to pull out the Nair. Up smash goes the wrong way, so not going to really get the distance he was looking for on it. Oh, and just a run-up up smash. Good DI. Saves Ukthar, but for how much longer? They need a miracle here. Take this stock, go for a spike. Oh, man, the miracle we're looking for is not a disconnection from the game. If oh, that please looks stop. like that might have happened, yep. Oh, no. F's in chat. F's in chat, boys and girls. So let's see what happens oh, here. No. Oh, okay. It has only kicked us out as spectators. So the oh, fortunate thing about this is that the match is actually still going. So we will see who our winner is pretty shortly in all likelihood. Um, what will happen sometimes is if there's latency, it will kick the spectator out first to see if the connection can be saved by removing that latency. So if that does end up being the case, they can still finish this match. And we do have a finish to the match. It was gonna go to Anguise there. And a sneaky snakes his way onto the leaderboard. I'm done. Uh, that never had anywhere to go. All right, I'm gonna go and stir that spaghetti for all y'all. I'll be right back. Got to make sure to stir that spaghetti. Otherwise, it's going to clump up on top of itself. You're just going to get a spaghetti brick. Doesn't really cook all the way through. Gross. You'll just be picking it up by hand and just taking a bite. Yeah. At that point, why even cook it? Just eat it raw. Get that, that nice crunch. I actually do know somebody who eats their spaghetti raw. It's kind of wild. No, no, you don't. No, yes, I do. No, don't say that. They I, will just take it out of the box and, like, munch. I refuse to believe there is somebody, that this earth has somebody on it that is opening a box of uncooked spaghetti and eating it. It's not me. Okay, I, I don't do this. But I do know I somebody who does this. That thought is not good for my mental health. Please take it back. <laughs> Please refrain from telling me things like that again. Thank you. That's actually, uh, that's actually just, that's, that's the most wild thing I've heard all month. Secret East says, I have eaten uncooked ramen in desperate times. <laughs> it's basically the same thing, right? All right, so we've got this character switch to Kirby here from uh, Ukthar. Ooh, got a good up tilt string going. That move has worked since Smash 64. Uh, took a break during Melee and Brawl and uh, possibly Smash 4 as well, but it's back. <laughs> I'll fix what's not broken. Although Getting I guess some you could good argue damage it is in broken. There. Ooh, these up airs are going to be so scary for Monguise. That is a KO option. I love the back air spacing from Ukthar there. Not going to get any follow-up off it, though. Oh, wow. Goes off on that. Okay. Up throw into side B? Question mark? Uh, that's <laughs> about how well that's going to work. Might have been a tech like flub. From Ukthar. Oh, and we've got the Kirby... The throw into the forward air. I like this character change. It has definitely been a lot closer than the Fox Ditto has been so far. Ooh. 
Just goes all the way in with the uh, up B and is rewarded for it. Nice oh, forward tilt shield. out of shield. And there's the down air oh. again. Oh, Ooh. almost recovers. Anguiz but... has got to be looking for that. He's got to be finding a way around it, stalling, uh, recovering through it, dodging it, something. Uttar looking... Cannot afford to be losing stocks that early. Sorry, go ahead. Yeah, look, looking experienced with this Kirby. I like the car. It knows exactly what they were trying to do. Executes it perfectly. Gets up smash. Oh. Yeah, that that was that was part of the plan. They just wanted to reset. Commentator's you know? curse, you know. Yeah, <laughs> that doesn't change the fact that the gameplay is still strong here from Uttar in uh, in game two. Mm -hmm. But now down by percent, but still a close. Oh, gets the knockdown, but does not able, does not follow up. Stops the follow up of Anguiz. Ooh, that was a pretty aggressive down B. Read attempt. Tagging a little bit of extra percent on here, and I completely agree with Anguiz going for that because as soon as he gets this Kirby into KO percent, all he's got to do is run in an up smash. He's just got to pick his spot. Ooh, that oh. was risky. Oh. Could have been punished, but Uktar just going for the do perfect timing. The dot. Oh, what? The dash attack just finishes just before it. Anguiz just, just uppercuts Kirby. Just Hard to tell whether that it. was a read or just you happened to be in the right place at the yeah, right time. But <laughs> Incredible distance, yeah. Good job from Anguis. Taking a 2-0 over the one seed. Again, I think the seeding was probably random here. All right. So that will set up. We actually do have a winner's quarters match that can be played with uh, Ukthar and Yundere. But uh, we might decide to go to the other side of the bracket. That is up to our TO. We will see what it is they decide to throw in for us. Looks like they're typing right now. Meantime, I'm going to go and stir the spaghetti. All right, chat. Did you guys see? I, I want I want some opinions, okay? First, we're gonna start with Pokemon Diamond and Pearl the gameplay got released on the uh, Pokemon Direct for the for the remake that's coming out November nineteenth. What are your guys' thoughts? I want to know. Are you guys hype? Did they change enough? I, the graphics look absolutely incredible. They've added a little bit of things. Like, do you think they could have done more? Like, I know we've only seen a little bit so far, but from what you've seen, like, are you expecting there to be even more? Are you content with what it is? Like, it's much more of a re... Like, it's almost... It's basically a remastered, in a sense. Pekka, you want to... Diamond? Pokemon Diamond has so much nostalgia for me. That's how... My best friend... That's been my friend since I was seven. Like, literally... 70% of my life, we met because of Pokemon Diamond and Pearl in second grade, okay? I cannot tell you how excited we are for these games. Like, so, so, so excited. And, oh, bro, the graphics just look incredible. You know, I'm going to be interested to see, you know, like, Darkrai was a special event Pokemon uh, in Diamond that you couldn't get unless you had an action replay or did the event. So, I think I'd be interested to see if you could get Darkrai in regular game in this one. Ooh, wait a minute. Um, We've got an error on the score report here. It looks like we put Ukthar as the winner when it was Angui. Anguise who took that. So we need to swap that around and make a quick correction on the uh, call there. Oh, uh, Simon... Oh, bro, the underground, the underground system. First off, when you had one friend, was still sick. Now, when you get to play like online, and uh, assuming that the underground system is going to be online, they didn't confirm that, but I'm assuming it will be. Uh, oh my, it's going to be so sick. They've got like the cool little Pokemon areas. You can only catch certain Pokemon in the world in like these cavern, like grass and snow areas. Oh, oh, it's going to be. So I just hope. 
for me, the game's going to be fantastic just because of the nostalgia factor and how much I love that series of Pokemon, Turtwig, Chimchar, you know, like, Piplet, like, all the Pokemon I just love. Crick even Cricketune, like, I still love that. I think the Pokemon's sick. I just hope that they do it, they add enough to it and maybe even expand off it in, in a DLC that gets everyone excited and happy about it. You know what I mean? I, I, I hope that they don't, because, like, Sword and Shield, it was, you know, it's okay. You know, it's an okay game. I just hope that they, they add enough that, like, the casual Pokemon player is, like, happy about it, you know? Found Diamond in a moving truck. Bro, have you seen how much any copy of, like, Diamond per, like, any of the DS Pokemon games are, any, are going for? Not even, like, boxed and, like, graded. Like, literally, if you just had, the like, the uh, cartridge, literally over a hundred dollars for for just a copy of the game it's it is the market is so inflated it's crazy right now was Hekka saying i want it about the the pokemon, pokemon diamond game? and pearl okay. yeah i was i it, half of my brain was thinking it was the spaghetti, spaghetti. <laughs> Hekka, do you also want some spaghetti yeah we can we can get some spaghetti for Hekka too now, did you, you guys all, know. Well, did you guys also see <laughs> Legend of Arceus gameplay? <laughs> yes, it's cooked. I am not the person who does that. <laughs> now, now you have the reputation of the man who eats raw spaghetti. <laughs> I'm saying I know someone who does this because I think it's weird. I'm not saying I do are you, this. Are you projecting? <laughs> Astral projection, yes. <laughs> But my, my astrology side tells me you're projecting. <laughs> All oh, right, here Simon, we go. I think it looks incredible. All right, we got Fox. Person who knows yeah, someone who, as long as it's knows someone and not eats raw pasta, like, is that would just be slander. Strong start here from uh, from Anguise, but does not take much to a uh, or uh, the damage to suddenly be caught back up. Yeah, That's Terry sure. is a very combo-oriented character. We saw him go for uh, a pretty standard setup there. That's basically just a guaranteed thirty-something percent off of Ooh. jab. Up smash. Okay. Okay. So we know that Yundere has the tech question is can they execute in neutral and can they get the combo off right now they're getting kind of smothered Anguise playing very smart and neutral here running around only going in when he thinks he can get a hit a little bit aggressive on the edge guard Anguise wants him off stage already and the nair might actually no not quite but is able to keep following up, and it's just been the Anguise show this entire game so far. Yundere knows the inputs here, clearly has some control of this character. Just needs to actually land a hit in neutral and get something started. This would be yeah, a great Anguish opportunity just... to equalize, and that'll do it! There we go, there we go. Anguise is doing a great job of just kind of avoiding really any neutral play uh staying out of it and yonder unable to put tack on any percent there but Anguise just just kind of playing around yonder here with Terry. oh wow that was some good damage signs of life from yonder here Ooh, getting kicked Oh no, that is a dead Terry. No recovery resources. Hard Certainly down not smashed. a Kirby. Yeah, they're not making it back from that one. Anguiz takes game one. I'm gonna bet the spaghetti's ready after this set. 
I am ready for some spaghetti. I am ready spaghetti for some spaghetti. Please stop. <laughs> Please. <laughs> <laughs> This is harassment. Flavortown got DQ'd. We do not have the blessing of Guy Fieri. Guy Fieri is just... He's, cry he's crying hot sauce right now. Literally right next door to where I moved is a Mexican restaurant that Guy Fieri visited. No it is, way. It is an excellent place. I, I will never eat Chipotle while I am here. Because it is within walking distance. It is faster for me to get than a DoorDash from Chipotle. No, there is nothing better than genuine, like, authentic Mexican food. I used to work in a Mexican food restaurant that, like, it was owned by a Mexican family. They had, like, three, right? So it's all, like, lots of their family work. There. So, so, the best Mexican food I've ever had, without a doubt. So oh, good. I all right, here we go. We've gone to Kalos Pokemon League here. Um, I'm trying to think. I, I guess it's more just that Terry wants the flat open space uh, to be able to hit the power wave. I can't really do it the way the Kirby does it. It's it's not cute enough. Yeah, Ooh, is just dominating the... Holy charge, down smash. Really got to be respecting that. It's a little yeah, bit damaging. Uh, yeah, Anguis is just he's just he's really just dominating the the stage. Just in full control. You're on the way look it gets attack even just a few hits, hundred and three percent. Just has not been able to get it going. Mm -hmm. Few and far between for sure. I think Yundere is having a little bit of trouble with the, the spacing aspect. Um Anguise is playing very aggressive, staying right on top of him, and he doesn't always have an answer. If, you know, if Fox moves into this space that uh, I want to occupy, how do I get him out of it? So it looks like he, he kind of has an idea what his punish game should look like. It's just a matter of figuring out how to play neutral against the faster character. Ooh, that Gosh, almost okay. catches, and that will. Oh, great follow-up from mm -hmm. Anguise. Reads it well. So Yundere not able to bring the go meter to bear on that stock. That is kind of uh, Terry's big comeback mechanic here and isn't able to wow. make it happen. Back getting... to back up throws. Yeah, and then no follow up on either one. Yeah, just sh shooting the laser. The laser pistol. That will do it. Whoa. Okay, for a second I thought it didn't. <laughs> Uh, yeah, it, it can be shocked. tricky if they uh, get star KO'd. can look like they, they're still on the screen. And really, Go they're just flying in the background. Right here. Just hard reads and holds the shield. I wonder if... Me, I, I think a lot of this really is just that this matchup just does not benefit Terry at all. and couldn't make the... Like... Anguish is just that strong with Fox that just could, couldn't make up for the uh, the difference. There the is matchup. definitely a, a difference in speed, but uh, if Terry is hitting his punishes. He, he hits like a truck, so. <laughs> yes, very much so. Well, Anguish on a roll here so far at this event. Is now 2 0 both players on stream that they have competed against. And they got a kind of a buy already so they're in pretty good shape sitting in winner's semis we will definitely be seeing their match again on the other once uh, we've taken a pit stop to the other side of bracket let's see who we've got up next flop flop and jason j are our competitors 
So this is a, another winner's quarters match. Let's go see the, about, about that spaghetti now. Make sure it's not no raw. We got some flop flop fans in the chat. Should be a good one. By the way, uh, I have a confession to make, folks. Um, I'm really sorry. It's actually linguine. It's not spaghetti at all. I'm, I can I'm really that. ashamed of myself. Um, I'm going to have to go and, uh, I don't know, uh, start working out, come back six months later like nothing's different. Um, but be very, very publicly sad. Yep, trying to get the twit longer out. <laughs> yep. Got several flop flop fans out there. Flopping like a soccer player. I don't appreciate the call out. <laughs> <laughs> you know what they say, gentlemen's game played by hooligans. I can back that. I can back that sentiment. The other half, of course, being that rugby is a hooligans game played by gentlemen, which I also agree with. I've never been a rugby ever... player I wasn't into. Have you watched uh, on Twitter? Have you ever been like recommended like rugby furious moments? <laughs> like furious moments? Yeah, oh, it, it, no. like it is. It is actually wild when people pop off in that sport. Like it, it's actually like it, it's sc like you didn't realize like how deadly a human really is. <laughs> like like you want you're just like what is going on like it's crazy i'm surprised you've never been the amount of times been recommended like furious moment uh baseball furious moments uh like just like hockey I trying can't, to so, tell like, you something like you, you're just an angry guy i think they just know i enjoy those videos <laughs> <laughs> they're like he watched one send them all of them <laughs> This is all you watch now. Uh, it, it's 
the recommended algorithms on some platforms it, like it is genuinely over the top like you'll watch one video of something or a stream and, and all it will show you is that you pop into one simply stream and suddenly every single sm like super mario 64 speedrunner gets recommended to you <laughs> like it's like i was there for five minutes <laughs> like <laughs> It's crazy. All right. Oh. Oh. So uh, really oh. quick, here's some spaghetti for you, Hekka. Here's some for you, Banky. Um, here's some for you, person with the green name that I'm not gonna try and pronounce. There's too many, too many letters that don't go together there. We got a oh, Pikachu I... and we got a Donkey Kong. I see what we're looking at. There, it's orange for me, but. Yeah, there, there's, yeah, way too much of letters. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no way. Well, that yeah. happened. Wow. I haven't seen a Pikachu in a long time, now that I think about it. It's been a long time. I don't see them very often. Okay, here we go. So Jason, so far, solidly in control after some great offstage uh, fireworks. A little bit of a little bit of a thunderstorm out there. Chance of rain. One hundred percent chance of thunder. Flop, flop. Doing pretty well in neutral so far, keeping himself safe. Not really finding anything big, though. We'll need to go in at some point here and hit the little mouse. He has hit the little mouse, ladies and gentlemen. Whack-a-mole. Tries to bait him into rolling into that, and Pikachu kind of zippity doo da they out of there. I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. Gets the dash attack. Gets the people going. Um, what? That almost survived that. It gets pineappled by Pokemon Stadium. Still not a good trade at all for Flop Flop. So that puts him at a two stock to one disadvantage clean. Able to get in with Nair. Not able to follow up at all. I like the attempts at up tilt, but the trade not going to go in his favor. Ooh, great little wave bounce there. B reverse. Yeah, People use different there, words but... for these things, but they all look the same to me. Ooh. Great shield. Only a couple up airs. Oh, into Ooh. a forward smash. I was going to say that's not a bad uh, amount of damage for Flop Flop to take, given the Ooh. circumstances. Oh, he wants to use that, that giant punch. Just clean things up, because he'll get a new one if he gets the stock wow. with it. Oh, that's a lot of damage now. Both just out of range on that hit. Oh, uh, it might have been shield grabbable there, actually. I'm not sure what kind of KO setups he has off of that, though. So maybe the forward tilt was the better idea. All right. Baits out the thunder. thunder and is able to get the... I think it was a trade? Hard to tell. Oh... Tries to get a little too cheeky with the side B there. Pikachu is very short. Whiffs. And that is a free stock there for Jason to end the game on. So Flop Flop definitely in this. That yeah. was close. The big mistake was the SD on the second stock. If that doesn't happen, that is a much closer game than it looked. So. Yeah. We're, we're looking forward to this. We've got a stage counter pick coming up. Flop Flop's kind of got the idea now. Might be a little bit more warmed up. We, we believe in the flop. Yeah, if you, if you don't get a stock taken at 16%, that helps your odds here significantly. <laughs> exactly.
Oh, I feel like Jason might actually switch characters here. I don't know why. I just got the feeling. Ukthar claiming full credit for Jason. Just as a human. <laughs> Basically. My son Jason got this, yes. Ukthar, literally Jason's father. They both attend college together somehow. Hey, it's never too late to go back. I agree. Maybe that's what's going on. In fact, why not stay? Why not just why not just squat there? Like I've always thought, you know, if I was going to be like if I was going to just like sell my house and live on the streets, the way I do it is I just live on a college campus. And then Everyone would look at me and be like, he's probably a professor, right? With all that, that long facial hair? Yeah, probably. So I'd, I'd fit in, and I'd be able to just go and like, sit in on lecture halls and, and learn astrophysics. And then I'd get a job, and I'd be rich. Seems like a foolproof plan, right? All right, here we go. Back to the Big Pikachu brain. Donkey Kong. So far, pretty even. Got to remember, Pikachu very light. And so, despite the fact that Donkey Kong got a higher percentage right now, well, okay, commentator's wow. curse. I was going to say that's not a lead, but then forward smash happened. And confirmed that, in fact, it was a lead. Oh, goes for the turnaround grab? I don't know if that was a mistake or... Side B whiffs because Pikachu's too short. Flop Flop really f cheesing, fiending for a roll into his giant punch. But Jason has been really disciplined, has not been giving it to him. The moment it hits, that'll be the turn. That'll be the turning tide. Oh, so close. Down smash. Pretty much a full stock lead at this point for Jason. There's the forward tilt off the side. Goes off the edge guard. And a mistake on the recovery from Jason. So Flop Flop gets a little bit of a freebie here, but not out of the woods yet. Going to need to put something together here to make a comeback. Preferably on this stock. Oh, just gets up giant punch, and that's not going to work. And there's this stock from Jason. Cleans up the edge guard. Oh, can just sit there and up tilt. And what does Donkey Kong do at that angle? Close your eyes and hope for the best. Okay, there's some good damage. Oh, trying to dunk him too. Going for a gimp early on. Trying to take him out of the game so that he's got a... A little bit less of a lead. No stage spike. Jason gonna be able to survive that. Ooh. Lands right on the stage, actually, but Flop Flop charging the giant punch, so unable to punish. I was not ready for uh, that to happen. <laughs> Skip Ooh. ledge altogether. All right. Who? I feel like he might be putting a little bit too much emphasis on going for the giant punch because he's not been getting a lot of value out of it. I don't think he actually connected with one that entire game. I don't think the game before either. Well played by Jason. Very squirmy and wormy and uh, getting into positions where it was hard for Flop Flop to make his hitboxes connect. Lots of just sitting right underneath Donkey Kong's giant fists. 
throwing out up tilts, making them work. Yeah, it's really easy to not realize that you're trying to do the same tactic over and over and over again. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like, sometimes it really is hard to, like, identify in the middle of the game, like, I need to switch it up. And I think that, that potentially was what was going on. Like, the, the charge pump just seemed to be, like, this hits, I win game. And so when it wasn't hitting, it was just keep trying until it, di until it does. And I, I just think that that's kind of what was at play there. We go next to another round of winner's quarterfinals. Uh, this is the same side of the bracket as Flop Flop and Jason, so winner will play Jason. This is, I can't tell if it's Natty or Nady, and Giga. How are you enjoying your spaghetti, chat? It's raw. It's not raw. I cooked it nicely for you. Ooh, Flop Flop calling his shots in the chat. Says, I'll be back because it's Monkey Thursday. I didn't know that, like, days of the week had, like, specific animals. You know what? I didn't either. But I'm here for it. Giraffe Sundays, Elephant Fridays. I hear you. I see you. I approve. Monday seems like a... Like a, hip, like a hippo day. I was, I was going to say Manatee Monday, but Hippo uh, I could see as well. It's a little bit more so aggressive, aggressive for, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Monkey strong. Yes, yes. Debbie slurping noodles up through the, the straw of her Tim Hortons cup. It makes sense, okay? We promise. Don't think about it too much. Just accept for what it is. Not sure how well it comes across in emote form, but that is canonically a Tim Hortons cup. Shout outs to Canada. It exists. It's pretty great. That is where I'm from. I have an opinion on coffee shops that people do not like. <laughs> the coffee is not any better. They just put different sweeteners in it. So, which, however much you like your sugar, <laughs> that's mm -hmm. just where you like to go. <laughs> that is a hot take. That said, I do not drink coffee. I had it once in second grade and didn't like it and have not tried it again since. I just inject G fuel into my van. Yeah, that's the optimal way to do it. Shout out to G fuel. Please sponsor us. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, Low-key, never actually tried G Fuel. I have four tubs. Really? 
Yeah. Wow, okay. My buddy and I, we just like bought four and then split the tubs up. Like, you know, just like cut them in half. Not like actually, but... I think my favorite one that I have is... What is it actually called? Baysberry. <laughs> Probably my favorite. See, I always think of, of G Fuel as like... They're like Raid Shadow Legends. Like, I don't know anybody that actually plays Raid Shadow Legends, right? But they sponsor Ruff. everyone. <laughs> I just figured G Fuel was the same way. It's like, not that many people actually, actually drink it, but... Uh, anyway, we've got video games to watch. So Giga is a Pac-Man. He's playing against Dark Pit. Now this is a matchup. All right. Winner's quarterfinals starting on Final Destination. It's a little bit uh, of a misnomer, I guess. Initial destination doesn't quite sound as cool, though. Ooh, very nice use of the... What is it? What is that from? Galaga? I can never actually remember. Uh, the spaceship? Yeah. yeah. Galaga, okay. The Galagun. I'm calling it that now. Pac-Man? More like Vegeta. Elaborate. Galagun is is a Vegeta move, if I'm remembering my Dragon Ball Z. It's entirely possible someone in chat is, is cringing really hard because I got it wrong. But... Punching their monitor. <laughs> How dare you. Galic gun. Galagun. Just kind of rolls off the tongue better. No, that's right. Okay. God. Phone started ringing on me. Just there to there to keep y'all keep y'all alert so you can see that down air connect. Takes stock number 1. Very close game so far. Ooh, Giga getting a little bit of extra credit down here. That's going to be a shield grab. This is an interesting matchup because with Pit, you'd want to see like packing on some arrow damage, but Pac-Man has so many projectiles for it to hit that you, you pretty much just like negate that part of the gameplay out of it. Mm -hmm. Pit definitely is the one who is uh, challenged to approach. Oh, ooh, beautiful wake up. I cannot believe that didn't KO. Honestly deserved it for that read. Really clever use of the hydrant there. Using the water to close distance. Ooh, this pineapple stuns. This is phenomenal from Giga. The fact they've been able to put oh. on... Oh, they t uh, the fact that they were able to take this stock after... I mean, because I think, I think they were at like eighty-five percent when when Natty started that stock. Like, I mean, that was impressive. Lasting a really long time, no strong hits coming out of Natty, and that that is one of Dark Pit's weaknesses here. Just difficulty KOing with Pac-Man being able to keep you out as well as he can. You really need a fast option to just get him out of there once you're able to get in. Now, at this point, practically anything is going to KO. You can see he's throwing out a whole bunch of those down smashes. A sneeze from Pichu would probably uh, take the stock here. Yeah, I mean, a sneeze from Pichu would probably electrocute me, so it's valid. <laughs> 208%, that's a, that's a yeah. high one. Finishing it off with down air at 208 is not a sustainable way to play this game. 
We're gonna have to find some kind of setups, some kind of KO. If not setup, then at least situation. He needs to corner Pac-Man or set up an edge guard or something. Nice hydrant there. I really want to see Natty playing a little bit more aggressive and giving less space oh, to Giga. Caught. Yeah, that was a big deal there. A lot of damage off of that stun. Hit with the bounce of the apple or cherry? I think it's apple. I especially want to see him jumping at Pac-Man more. He definitely has aerials that reach well. Um, might uh, break in a little bit better that way. Ooh. Wow. Great. Great. Uh, timing or unlucky timing for Nat, depending on how you look at it, but that was a dominant performance here from Giga. Mm, that is definitely a setup from Giga, knowing that one way around the Hydrant is to jump, and if he jumps, I'm going to throw this move out there to cover it. Pac-Man is definitely a setup character. They uh, put you in positions where if you avoid one option, you get hit by another option. And What uh, you're saying is Giga is big brain. Exactly. And what Natty needs to be doing is putting more pressure on so that he doesn't have the time to set that up. Um, Pac-Man's yes. not a great character up close. His grab is very slow. Um, not a ton of great get-off-me options, especially none that have great range. So once you get to him, you can actually do some damage, especially as something like a sword character. It's just a lot of the time Natty is maybe trying to sit at the other end of the stage and reflect things or shoot arrows instead it really needs to be kind of running in and uh, putting on a bit more pressure to be able to crack that egg yeah i uh i see what you're saying i think uh you know if your if your projectiles are effectively becoming useless you gotta then just capitalize and just go much more forward because the arrows just really aren't going to hit like there's very few moments in that entire fight where an arrow had the option to even hit where the like a hydrant wasn't already on the field or pac-man wasn't throwing something out already you know mm -hmm. and if that's the case you just gotta you gotta just go straight for like what you were saying just head first straight into it with the uh with just more just attacks less of the uh projectile threat and you have to be smart about it, of course, because that's what's pa what Pac-Man is expecting. The Hydrant is a very good tool for pushing you away. And uh, he has a lot of really tricky setup options like we've seen. You know, if he gets the Hydrant down, he can hide behind it and then get the fruit that he wants. And so now he's got a projectile and he's got the Hydrant there. you got to be patient about it, but you got to be positionally right on top of him so that uh, you start choking these options out and kind of... You play your cards right, you can force him to make a mistake because eventually he runs out of resources. Yeah. I I agree. I also could have potentially seen a character switch, but it does not look like that was on the on the cards. All right, I like this aggression. Not getting a ton of damage each time. The uh Follow-ups aren't really there. Trying to run away and throw arrows in again. Ooh, there I like go. that. That's really nice. The use of the fire hydrant to push him closer and keep, stay in the rapid jab. I don't know if that was intentional, but that worked. So those hydrants don't do damage. They only push you. So you don't have to be super duper worried. The worst thing that happens is you get pushed away from Pac-Man. Something you can also do, depending on the situation, is use that fire hydrant as a projectile to throw back at Pac-Man. If you do enough damage to it, you can send it back his way. Now, you're not going to get that with the arrows, which I think Natty has uh, tried and proven several times here already. Um, he's going to have to go in and actually, you know, dash attack it, throw a smash attack out at it or something to be able to take advantage of that. And he hasn't uh, been going for it. Might feel... Uh, threatened might not feel like it's safe 
but we've been seeing Giga put that to use for sure. Oh, goes for the up smash. And I honestly thought it was going to okay. connect too, but the forward smash will do it instead. Natty, first lead that he's had the, the entire set so far. And I was going to say it's gone. It's not. Now, what's uh, that oh, missed? Are missed? you kidding me? That must have been like literally half a pixel away. Down air will KO at this point. We've seen a lot of mileage out of that from Giga so far. I like the aggression, but not quite the right move. Came out a little too okay. slowly, got shielded. No pineapple. Sets up his fire hydrant. I like the aggression from the aerials there. We are about to have a new high per highest percent. There it is. This is well done from Natty. Just trying to tack on the percents. Gets up to 25 before losing the stock. That was a great first stock from Natty. I think uh, that's a great building point here. I love how he got in between Giga and his fire hydrant, and there really wasn't a lot that uh, Giga could do to create space at that point. A lot of damage from Giga there. Oh, and he dodges the oh, uppercut. Wow. Great spot dodge. One concern I have for Natty is I'm not seeing a lot of uh, combo setups. A lot of these are just stray hits. And uh, against a Pac-Man player who is going to have multiple sources of damage out in the air at any point in time, it might be hard to rival his damage output. Yeah, I, I definitely I definitely agree with you on that. I think, uh, uh, you know, Natty is getting in this game into some great spots where they're able to tack on damage, but nothing punishing. You know, 10%, 15%. Like, you know... When, when you're finally able to close the distance on Pac-Man and you're putting on damage, you got to get, you know, 30, 40 percent, you know, when you can, if you can. And that just doesn't seem like that is uh, in just what Natty's been able to do. Ooh, great use of the shields there from Natty. I want to see him getting up in Giga's face. I want to see him trying to finish this edge guard. He can't just be running willy-nilly at his shield, but I want him to be there positionally trying to dare Giga to do something and uh, be in position to punish it. Okay. He's able to slug it out. It takes a little bit of ex extra damage in the process, but this isn't over. Nice! Okay. There we go. We've got a down throw up smash. That is a Good nice look. setup for Natty. I'd love to see you know more of that kind of play on Ooh, the punish that game. That was scary. Oh, and he goes for the grab, but accidentally crosses oh, up. Oh, gets hit by the hydrant as well. Has now closed the distance and taken the lead. Can't give up the pressure. Yeah, I, oh, don't, I, no. don't, like, I don't like this from Natty. I, I, want, I want forward. Mm -hmm. that, that benefits Pac-Man. For sure. Oh, that was a really scary Ooh. landing from Natty, but no punish from yeah. Giga at all. And I don't, I don't think Giga was even half expecting that to have happened. So that worked out. Oh, back throw. Okay, eats it. Another At this percent, it, it is anybody's. Yeah, I would agree. Another note about the fire hydrant. Even if you, oh, oh, even wow. if you don't get it with your physical attacks, then maybe you can actually pick it out with the arrows as you retreat. This grab might oh, do this it. Will be it. No, oh, you just go for a kill throw. throw. Oh my god. How, How is he alive? 193. What? So much spaghetti Natty. right now. Oh. And not just the one that I cooked up, but Giga is able <laughs> that to clutch was it raw. out. Yeah. <laughs> All right, that that's was, fair. Honestly, that was impressive by by Giga, though. I think he just tacked on like 100% without getting touched. I mean, seriously, that was very impressive. All right. That brings Giga up to play against Jason. That's going to be an interesting matchup. Jason with the aggressive Pikachu that we were seeing earlier. See if they have an easier time cracking the egg. 
I'm gonna call Pac-Man the egg from here on out. That's gonna be my thing, guys. I've got I've got a trademark. What eating raw spaghetti? I'm gonna ignore that. You know that Batman villain <laughs> who's egg themed? I think he's like egghead or something. I'm googling this. What? In the uh, the old Adam West TV show, uh, there was this villain who only spoke in egg puns. You're lying. <laughs> oh, you, you don't know the Adam West Batman show, do you? What is this? Is this him? Wait, it's his name was actually Egghead. 1966 TV series. Yes, Ad the Adam West Batman is a classic. It is not the Batman that you know. It is very campy. It is very silly on purpose. It looks like it. Now, do you think this is... There's no way this is this guy's real head, right? It's, it's got to be, uh, <laughs> like, makeup. It, it's just... There's no way. Yeah, that might be a makeup effect. It's hard to say because it's like just close enough that you're like, it, that is within like, that is feasible. Yeah, <laughs> you know it's, what not, I mean? it's like, not like Kieti Mundi from Star Wars. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, it's got to be fake. Said Mundu, I'm forgetting. I think you can kind of see it in this photo. You can see where it lines up on the forehead. 19. Huh. How old? This guy's got to be 80 or 90. He was probably like 30 or 40, 50. Yeah, I don't know who this is, but he's probably close to 100 years old now. That's crazy. I saw something crazy. Are you ready for this? Okay. Anne Frank and Martin Luther King were alive at the same time. Yeah, that checks out. Like, in history books, they act like Anne Frank was, like, 200 years ago and that Martin Luther King was, like, 100 years World ago. World War Two was not 200 years ago, dude. <laughs> no, but that, that's the thing. When you're learning about Martin Luther King and Anne Frank, they 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 act like it was so long ago, and then you look at the time frame, and you're and that and like as if they were like not even closely related, and then you look at the time, and you're like they were alive at the same time, and like this was literally 80 years ago. <laughs> you're like, what? Like, it, it's it's so crazy just how how far back it looks, and then when you look at time, you're like, oh. That, that was not long ago <laughs> like so like I mean like two generations well it might be three now because of it's just crazy when you get a chance check out I think there's a YouTube compilation of Robin saying holy and then it's a different expletive every time so it's not just like holy smokes or holy moly it's it's pretty wild. Holy purple cannibals, Batman! Like, and... Holy and, Batman quotes. Exactly. 50, okay. Holy priceless collection of Etruscan snoods! Like, it gets it gets crazy. It, it's very fun. Holy, here we go again, Batman. Yup. <laughs> and, and there's a YouTube video where it compiles <laughs> all of these moments from that TV show. Yeah, holy whiskers, holy birthday cake, <laughs> holy headache. Holy, holy whiskers is probably a response to Catwoman showing up, I would think. <laughs> holy triple what? Holy triple feature, is that what he said? Holy slipped disc. <laughs> that, 
That one seems easy to mess up. Holy known unknown flying object. <laughs> Holy hamstrings. Holy Cinderella. They're they're all great. They're all great. In investigate them at your leisure. <laughs> I th th this show <laughs> is pretty good. <laughs> Holy bouncing boiler plate <laughs> oh, Holy Las Vegas Holy understatement <laughs> Batman. This is the show that that came from. What? If Holy I remember correctly, the show also has like this, like pow, bam, whack kind of effect that shows up on screen whenever somebody like hits someone. You just said. Okay, so Batman has, like, a picture of a house. Robin looks at it and goes, Holy impregnability, Batman. <laughs> what? So I guess it's like a fortress that they're looking at, huh? No, it just looked like a regular home. <laughs> like, <laughs> it, it literally looks like just, like, a middle-class suburban home. <laughs> like, <laughs> holy heart failure. Holy All right, here we go. Holy winner's semifinals, Batman. Holy Pikachu, Pac-Man, Batman. Oh, wow, that was a mouth. That was way more of a mouthful than I was anticipating. Holy Pikachu, Pac-Man. <laughs> That's what I almost said. Now, this is a matchup that, again, we're going to be looking for Jason to just get in the face of Giga. And so far... That's exactly what's going on. Yeah. Pikachu's uh, <laughs> lightning offensive is definitely one of the strongest, if not the strongest, playstyles in this game. He's just got so much potential for follow-up off of any hit. He's very small, very nimble, hard to hit, great recovery. Mayweather. Only big weakness of this character is just their weight, and really they can kind of they kind of dodge tank, you know. They kind of just stay away from hits, or the hits miss them. Yeah. Holy Byleth main! That's a little anachronistic, but we'll allow it. Jason needs to grab the stock here. Ooh. Oh, that was the epitome of commentator's curse. Yeah, the Giga had the pineapple, which uh, you have to respect. If, if your opponent can stun you in just a few frames, you know, you can't be whiffing something near them at 100 plus percent. Yeah. Yep. Giga taking advantage of that long-range grab there. Pac-Man's grab may be slow, but it does reach further than the normal grab. Well done so, from Jason there. While it has the obvious disadvantage of just not coming out quick, quick enough out of shield or whatever, um, does have its fringe cases where it's actually more useful. Wow, great job from Giga. Giga trying to use that trampoline there to get Pikachu to pop himself up for more follow-up, but Jason doesn't bite. Jason's been a very good defensive player so far in what we've seen. Oh, that follow-up would have been nuts. It was so close. Oh, 
Oh, great read there. Ooh, okay. Feeds them the the read that he's going to just sit there and use thunder jolts, and then on the third try, just runs in for the most aggressive option possible. This is almost even. Uh oh. Okay, that's oh. an overcommitment. Let's see how Giga punishes. Not with much. Oh. Gotta respect the hydrant. If they are near the hydrant, you always have to think they've got that projectile range. You know what they Ooh, say, don't park in front of a hydrant. beautiful spacing. Holy moly. Reads the, reads the pop-up on the ledge so well there and punishes it. Pretty much even game at this point. I am in now. awe of how nice that forward smash was. Look, Pikachu, th this is this is what the fire department does to you if you park next to their hydrants, okay? You've you got to respect the law here. These are the rules of the road. Ooh. Okay, nice. I've got driver's ed on my mind because I just got my driver's license in the new state. an even game here 30 percent just that is nothing. what i was wanting natty to do to the fire hydrant if you know that the hydrant is already damaged then throw the projectile out and see if you can get it to proc from that it doesn't actually do anything for him in that case oh the fire oh, hydrant pushes him away no. from the ledge and wow. that will do it for giga able to find his footing and stave off the offensive and jason not able to crack the egghead yet. Holy unrefillable prescription. <laughs> there's there's the uh, holy priceless collection of the, the thing. Etruscan snoods, yes. Holy missing relative. Etruscan refers to uh, Tuscany, the location in Italy, and then a snood. It's kind of like a hairnet, but it's like a, a, a sexy hairnet. It's a good-looking hairnet. It's like one that you would wear for fashion's sake and not because it's a hairnet. So an Italian hairnet. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what makes him funny is what he's saying has absolutely no, like, it is not relative to what they're talking about or what's happening at all. It is just literally random. This, like, after Holy, it's just whatever happened in the day for him. Like, in his real life. <laughs> some of them do actually make sense. Like, Holy Purple Cannibals actually refers to some kind of alien life form, I think. Oh. Yeah, the ones that, that they were showing me, like, literally none of them made sense. They were just, like, so out of pocket. <laughs> All right. Giga on the verge of moving on to winner's finals here. Jason trying to stay in winner's bracket. Huh. Oh. A fire hydrant pushing him all the way off the stage, but good recovery, able to reverse it, not able to get any uh, extra damage for it, though. That was an up smash out of shield if ever I've seen one. I can agree with said statement. They are not hitting each other. Lots of little, like, 5% trades. Maybe some newfound respect was found between each other. Now they're uh, playing a little more passive. Oh, I love that setup, and it gets interrupted. So many trades in situations where one player gets advantage. I kind of sense... Maybe a little frustration from Jason here, just holding forward a little bit much sometimes. Maybe just swinging in some situations where Giga does get away. 
What? That was okay. some interesting trajectory on the hydrant. Not really sure how that works. Get the Pythag out, figure oh, it out. Oh no! And the the upwards hit of the hydrant puts Jason into the into the air unexpectedly, sets him up to get thonked on the head. And Giga has been very respectful of when Jason has control over his hydrants. He's been sitting it at an angle that it's not going to fly. It's just part of the character knowledge. Jason okay, able to clean it go. up. Reads the roll with a down smash. Not quite even yet. Ooh, and that's a good amount of damage for Giga as well. 88% now. Oh, you'll love to see it. Oh, ho, ho. A little bit early on the smash attack. I love the roll behind. Very tricky. Just going to take advantage of Pikachu's ridiculous recovery here. Take all the time in the world. Really, really good safe recovery there. Using the Thunder Jolts to cover himself. And there he gets a hit with the... Hydrant, Giga, off stage, Just charging a forward smash, though. That's not even going to hit over the ledge. So Jason basically gives it up for free. The only thing that would have worked there is if Giga had rolled. And Giga had way too long to see that. So not going to go for it. Good setup into the fire hydrant. Jason's down to last stock of winner's bracket, potentially. Quite hitting the setup at the grab, but he's still this fine. might this might just be the I think this is now the longest or the farthest gap they've had between each other in this entire uh, matchup. Mm -hmm. It's been a war of attrition for sure, and that really goes in favor of uh, Pac-Man here. Going for some. I don't know, predictable options is Jason. I'd like to see him oh. try and read Giga's movements a little more rather than trying to aim his moves reactively. What? That? What was that angle? Manages to hit Jason with the hydrant from there. Just perfectly angled. It's a lot of interesting interaction between uh, Pac-Man's different Ooh, projectiles. Okay. Calls him out with the thunder. Crazy way to get it, but you can't complain about it. Gets the drag down, knocks the pineapple out of his hand. That's perfect. This is really, really good for Jason. Holy moly, he's starting oh, up such a huge combo. He's going all the way out there. Oh. Giga wow. is able to set back up. It's a hydrant sent back at him, but he is back to safety on the ground at least. Oh, man. Okay. Oh my goodness, the progression the grab, is so strong here with the back throw. Okay, he eyes it, but <gasps> the orange, no, got hit. no kill, no down air, doesn't get popped up. Holy crap, Jason, hanging on by a thread there. It is now Eddie Wood's game. Oh, that was an up smash. That would have ended the game. Oh. <gasps> Eats it. Has the advantage. Has him off stage. Oh, beautiful! <laughs> Catches him before he can get to ledge. And that'll do it! The forward smash no, seals it for Jason. No what a comeback. Way. Holy crap. Oh, wow. Wow. Oh, my. Wow. I, I literally... I don't have words. That was just utterly impressive from Jason. Everything about that was just executed to perfection. A switch flipped, and all of a sudden, he had that aggression back that he had in the very first stock of this set. Yeah, wow. that was... Wow. 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 That is so crazy. Whew. Okay. So, Giga's gonna, you know, go through the, the stage striking procedure and everything. Probably gonna have a little bit of time to breathe. 
takes a minute or two. Might take a little bit longer. Might get a drink of water or something. Might try to ice him out a little bit. Try and contain this momentum. Wow, that was crazy. Seriously. That was a hell of a game. Just built different. <laughs> just, just built different. Bro, who takes Pac-Man to Kalos? It is a really interesting choice. Because, you know, most of the time, Kalos, you know, those side platforms, they're really good at protecting someone who wants to stand on the ledge and who wants to stand on the ledge. Well, zoners, people who want to shoot projectiles at you and limit your options for rushing them down. So, you know, I can see the logic behind that thought, but also Pikachu can do things like shoot the thunder jolts onto the platform to hit you from underneath it um just has the speed sometimes to rush over there so i don't think it played uh too big of a role in making it difficult for him but man that was a good game all right here we are town and city Uh, Pikachu Nair. A little bit of a string off of up tilt. No huge damage. Tilt in the back air. Okay. Okay. Up B is going to get him up safely. Could have been an early edge guard position there for Jason. Now, this stage, I am really surprised to see Giga choose, because this is just a big stage. And that's usually going to go in favor of the faster character. Maybe if your plan is to run away, it gives you more room to run, but with a character like Pikachu, they can just run you down. And even if they don't run you down, there's always the Thunder Jolt to chase you. Wins. Wins the uh, hydrant battle. Mm -hmm. Well done. Ooh, nice read on the air steer there. Oh, almost hard. Oh, read that's. That. Really, th there are a couple of these forward smashes Jason's charging that are scaring me. Oh, that's so smart. Using the water to push his thunder a little bit to the right so Giga thinks he's safe and then it hits further right than he thinks it will. That'll do it. Wow. Such an even first stock here. Frankly, it's been an even matchup in general. It's the forward tilt. No dash attack. Going to connect there. Good air dodge through the Pikachu. I like the down tilt into forward smash. Let's see if he can... Oh, that was a weird interaction with the, the trampoline there. I don't know what happened. Yeah, that... Just, just Everything about that was just odd. It just messed up the animation or something. I love it when Jason dash attacks the fire hydrant, because if you think about it, Pikachu is literally just headbutting a fire hydrant. Yeah, but he's got the got the um, the mask on. That, that adds some protection. True. This is actually female Pikachu. You can tell by the tail. So that the Luchador Pikachu is actually always female. The more you know. The more you know. We're learning things. Uh oh. Oh no! Forward smash. Just a little bit too long to close the distance. There's that forward smash again. Jason's really swinging with those. And it's a fairly low success rate for him, too. I want to see maybe more up smashes. Comes out a little faster. KO's off the top instead. Ooh, Ox had a dash. Attack. Nice, yeah. That was well done. Jason's at extremely high percent here. And I, I was going to say... I like him just shooting the thunder jolts, but then I realized he was in range of the, the fire hydrant. And was like, wait, he should probably stop, and then he was dead. So, 
Here we are. Last stock. Last game. Very equal percent. Jason's got some fire going in here, but gets grabbed. And there's a nice follow-up from Giga. And there's another oh. grab into the back throw off stage. Doesn't quite have a good fruit yet, but does set up the hydrant. Drops the edge guard there. Down tilt into dash attack. That's not safe. Not even against the Pac-Man shield grab. Whew. That is a very spooky situation. I'm surprised he's jumping. You want to be able to shield that. He's doing a good job of oh, staying at angles. Oh, that's it. He was staying at good angles where he wouldn't get hit by the pineapple, but his urge to forward smash just does him in again. The desire. Giga going to take desire. it 2 1 and advance to winner's finals. Definitely the closest set that we have seen on stream so far. But next up, we're going to have another round of winner's semis. This one between. Anguis, which we saw earlier, um, our Fox player, if uh, if history holds, if it repeats itself, versus Soundwave. We have yet to see Soundwave play on stream. They've been on uh, different sides of the bracket than we've been watching, but they have apparently comfortably 2 owed their way through the bracket so far. We'll see what it is they have in store for us. Alrighty. So, since we're getting up pretty close to these placements in the bracket, um, let's talk a little bit about prizing today. So, there is prize money. We're going to have an equal prize for first and second place. So, a little unconventional, but you make it into grand finals and you're good. So 25 for first, 25 for second, and then there will be $25 to be raffled to a random partici participant in the tournament. So we will uh, wait a little bit longer before we decide who that prize will go to. So stick around. But so you have an idea of what these players are competing for here. If you make it into winner's finals and win, you're in the money. So that is going to be a good look for uh, those players there. I just but, got news that the raffle winner is in fact me. Let's go. That is incredibly hype and also probably wrong. You don't have to know that. All right, so... Uh, Fun fact, we don't actually have stock icons for Pyramithra. Um, I'm not sure if they've actually been added to the program or not. But they definitely did not come packaged with it. So we're going to uh, basically just like blonde Palatina, right? Totally the same character. Um, that's where we're going to put out there for now. I guess I could go for, like, Blonde Lucina. That that would probably look pretty similar. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, that's totally her right there. Bowser would have worked, too. 
Is there like a light haired daisy? Peach? Nah, there isn't. Alright. We'll leave it as it is. We'll leave it as it is. I'm gonna get the, uh, the two frame. Alright. Ooh. So, Anguise here. Even with Soundwave for the time being. Wait, maybe this one would look better. That one better? Yeah, sure. Yeah, let's let's go with that. Anime Sword Girl, right? Yep. Checks out. <laughs> Anguise just letting the whole Rapid Jab rock because it pushes Soundwave further away. Ooh, great Ooh, read great on the get-up with the forward smash. That's that sort of bait you get hit with once, and then you're like, okay, I, I got to stop letting that happen to me. Ooh, Soundwave puts Pyra out there going for the KO at this point, but very slow forward tilt on shield gets up smashed. Shield to up smash. <laughs> Bowser has a pretty nice one of those. There's a Nair. Is this a Final Fantasy character? This is Xenoblade. Okay. I've never heard of that. Fake fan. No. Angui is doing a, such uh, a great job of reading the distance here. It's a popular uh, JRPG. Okay, okay. Great grab. Oof. I actually like this Lucina hair color because it's like halfway between the red of Pyra's hair and the gold of Mithra's. So it like works either way. Great follow up. Soundwave high percent here. Um, we try putting on the pressure. This the grab? Rapid jab, got him off the stage. And the back air oh. should finish it. No, good DI. Wow. Able to recover with the side. No, doesn't actually make it all the way, and that is going to do it. Anguise is Fox. Looking like winner's finals material right now. Let's see what Soundwave can do about it. The the uh, the distancing from, from Angui was, uh, I mean... Pretty much perfect. I, there was almost no moments in that entire fight where it was like, oh, it was too far, just out of reach. Like, it was just right there in the right spot every single time. Pretty incredible. Getting our uh, stage picks and bands done. We'll see if Soundwave opts to continue with the Pyramithra here, or if they maybe switch back to a character we actually have a character icon for. That'd be neat. We just uh, we just request that you uh, stop your entire game plan and just uh, change the character for our sake. Thanks. Yeah, I mean, I'd appreciate it. <laughs> maybe you'll accidentally win the raffle. You picking up what I'm putting down. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we are not students, Appletastic. Uh, so we are contractors, uh, Bravest Esports. We've been hired by your school to help put on the production. Appreciate the compliment. Been in the Smash community for a good long time myself. It was a Melee TO back in... Uh, Back in my college days. Okay, boom. <laughs> oh. All right, super even so far. Very, very, very much so. I don't know. I don't know about the stage. Hey, I, I understand why they picked it. Like lower platforms, sword can go through, but but like 
Fox's like up kick goes right through it as well. It's not that much of an advantage particularly. And Fox is just so quick, just scurries underneath. Yeah, Soundwave has not really been setting up juggle situations. That doesn't seem to be how they're getting... They are not reading the range Ooh. of that side B for recovery very well here. Yeah. It's it's a good mistake to make early rather than later, especially when you're at high percent on the first stock. Like, that's not a huge deal. That's not a huge swing, but really got to be watching out for that because it did cost them the game last time. Yep. That it did. All right, pretty good pressure so far from Soundwave. Going for the edge guard situation really has not been hitting the uh, timing on the forward tilt. It might be a latency thing. You know, I, I would never blame someone for missing moves if they're playing against an online opponent. Sometimes it's yeah. just hard to time that. Ooh, up smash out of shield. Been looking for a few of those. Oh, this is such a good punish here from Unguis. Gets the jab reset. So much damage. 64 already. Just out to a full stock lead. Oh, and Soundwave again. Really hard to space that correctly given the latency. Oh, that was such a good bait by Ungui. The, the uh, Tomahawk into side B. Now, Ungui's has... A side B that he can cancel into up B. So he can recover from there. Oh, Trouble. man. Yep. Yeah, you had to go up with the up B. But that puts you in such an ugly position to try and land on the stage. Anguis able to capitalize on the recovery there from Soundwave to take the set 2-0. All right. So that sets up Anguiz versus Giga. And following uh, both of those players significant ways through the bracket here. So it's going to be cool to see them clash against each other in winner's finals. Winner of this already guaranteed money. you were to make a prediction based on the Pac-Man and Fox matchup, who are you favoring? It's an interesting question. It's going to be tricky for Fox to hit the fire hydrant back. He doesn't really have a strong projectile that'll do it. Um, I guess he might forward smash, but if the water goes off, the forward smash just misses. Yeah. Um, but he is fast. He's going to be able to cross the fire hydrant up if he wants to. Um, he also has the reflector. So in the event that, you know, there's a pineapple getting thrown at him in a clutch moment, might be able to reflect that back. So he has some answers here. Fire hydrant projectile as well, I believe, can be reflected with Fox's reflector. Correct me if I'm wrong there. I personally, with the way with the way that Anguis plays, with the, like the aggressive style, which is what we are looking for with like against Giga in these matchups, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna side with Anguis. I I think I think that aggressive style is gonna be really punishing to Pac Man because that's what we've been looking for, and that's how Anguis plays box. So. That is my professional opinion. And you are a professional gamer. Correct. That means it has value, right? My opinion matters. Let's go. <laughs> Paradox. 
You just went and took the joke that everybody got and explained it for our benefit. <laughs> I don't know if we're on like a second level irony kick here, but man, that really killed it. <laughs> All right, dead even so far. Ooh, scary situation there, but the pineapple just kind of poofs off into non-existence. I didn't think it would go up like that, but today I learned. Back throw will do it for Giga. Giga at a slight advantage here. Nothing. One good edge guard can't help. Oh. Back here's not KOing as fast as we he would want it to here. Oh, that that double jump is scary to me. I, I, Giga comes up with a juggle option or something like that. There it is. Oh, smash. She's going to zip out of there. Unfortunately, stands still and shoots the gun. Giga hitting him with that uh, setup out of the fire hydrant we've seen before, but uh, I don't think Anguise has, so we'll see how he can uh, react to that in future matches, future situations. Completely even once again. Oh, the jab, actually. I thought Anguise was going to go for a, a shine spike there. Oh, Ooh, in the charge oh, wow. down smash. Phenomenal read there. Ooh, the th can, nice. Can I Greece tag on any percent though before potentially losing the stock? Ooh. Oh. Wow. A great great edge guard after not quite getting the finisher he was looking for. Didn't eat that power pellet hard enough, I think. Ooh, he's trying to make Fox a ghost right now, though. Got him on the ledge. Oh, Anguise oh, wow. using the push of the fire hydrant against Giga. Good wherewithal on the ledge, oh, Trump. Wow. Was not far off that up smash. Wow. The grab back throw. Up smash, not going to KO yet, but the up air threatening Anguis. Oh, oh, what a bait. He walks wow. slowly away from him and then just forward smashes. Anguis has got a ton of those little setups into forward smash here. He hasn't been punished for them yet, but against a player, he has to play more as time goes on. Those could start becoming a liability. We'll have to see how sparingly he can use them. Same matchup. Pac Man running in with that dash attack. So this here going to be Giga's counter pick. So we've seen he likes this stage here. Doesn't like Kalos. 
Uh, there are some characters that definitely don't like Kalos. <laughs> I think it's one of the what? more polarizing stages on the uh, legal stage list. Um, the the platforms on the sides definitely make it a little easier for zoners to do their thing. Um, and the platform heights are a little bit weird. It, they can make it uh, so that certain character-specific things work out for them. Goes for the hydrant setup on the grab. Anguise sees right through it. Ooh. Anguise is reading him like a book right now. And he catches him with the fire hydrant all the way down there. Beautiful. Wow. Tries to shine that back at him. Hoo, hoo, hoo. He kicked the, <laughs> the pineapple. But he did not get hit by the pineapple. Anguis is turning up right now. Still the doesn't have a huge lead, fire. but he's doing well, for sure. Oh, that was a spooky situation. Playing nice and safe. I love I love the patience from Anguis too. He's not always going in. He's going in when Giga commits to something. Giga trying to find something in his pocket that'll help him. Ooh, sheesh. How did that not hit? On he the, on just the dodged it. A little bit hairy for Giga there. That could have ended up being a lot worse than it was. It's already a pretty big lead for Anguise, but at least they're on the same stock now. If you're on the same stock, anything can happen. Yeah, we saw that with Jason. He's <laughs> down pretty bad on the final stock but ended up taking the uh the match giga or game got a lot of momentum right now it's 50 something unanswered percent oh no messes oh. up on the fire hydrant at least on got interrupted by the fire hydrant as he tried to chase otherwise it could have been even worse you know he's looking for that up up air but uh giga doesn't give it to him Forward great smash patience a little on the shield zealous, yeah Oh, oh, wow. That's, that's terrifying. Yeah. If he two frames, you know, you're just dead. And you gotta, got to just live with that. It's HGGs and uninstall. Simple. Gets the grab. Oh, no. Okay, okay. Maybe that was that intentional. Was scary. <laughs> My melee brain kicked in for a second. I'm like, oh, he's dead. No, he's not. He's, he's fine. This is ultimate. <laughs> oh, great follow-up. Beautiful raw back air. That was lightning fast. Oh, so tricky, throwing the pineapple at the fire hydrant. Anguis thinks he's fine, and then he just gets clipped. And the oh, key will wow. do him in. That was sick. Really crazy object or, uh, projectile play from Giga there. That's some Giga brain stuff. Actually hits the dash. <laughs> he was scared. He's like, I'm 95% certain that this doesn't hit me. But the five percent is meaning that I have to shield. <laughs> Still means I'm terrified, but not as much as you think. <laughs> Advantage to Anguise right now, and that's a really rough angle for the hydrant to be at for Pac-Man. Able to make it to ledge. Anguise, perfect oh, the patience. Hard read. Look at how wow. reactive that was. He just stood and watched him and waited for him. Anguise just has a read or something. Now, I believe this is winner's finals, right? Yeah, so this will, if I'm not mistaken, be a best of five. So it's not over yet, but... Whew, Anguise making it look difficult. Preventing COVID because he's clean. <laughs> oh, man. That's something. What you just said is, in fact, something. <laughs> Very hygienic. <laughs> Washes his hands every time he uses the bathroom. No exceptions. Not even in his own house. Correct. Do 
Any green names? I'm not seeing any green names. I think it's random based on different, based on the person. I have two. I have Paradox and Paradise with green. Paradise is purple for me. Oh, really? Yeah. So we, we got a pink, we got a purple, we got a, a blue. Paradox Gone is this, like, very bluish green. Appletastic is a very bright red, which is perfect. Oh, we've got a hero. We have not seen this yet from Giga. We'll see if this is a desperation bid or if this is just him revealing his final form. To grab let's see okay good damage let's punish for that down tilt this is a much slower character than he's been playing before so he's gonna really have to make his openings count and openings against fox especially you know you got to be careful about something like a, a reflector hitting you know some giant fireball <laughs> some magical something or other you don't want that rico ricocheting back at you. All right, get some MP back. Use his psych up. Let's see if he can actually connect with this powered up attack. Good defense for the most part, but Arguis is just putting a lot of pressure down, making it difficult to move. A deceptively fast recovery, out of, actually, out of that side B. Don't stay vulnerable up. for super Ooh, there long. Oh, to the screen. To the screen. Yeah. Oh, this, this does not seem like a character that Giga has quite as prepared as the Pac-Man. At least from what we've seen so far. He hasn't even really gotten any magic attacks off yet it's been like one fireball that whiffed and the rest has just been him relying on the sword this is not hero's strong suit like a couple get off me jabs it's not all that uh he's looking for here there's the accelerator at least he's just taking free damage he's got accelerator and psych up this is nuts he's able to just run in and up smash What a crazy combination of buffs. Able to get him with back air. Down throw. And the forward are not going to connect, actually, because he lands on the platform. But a good read on that and follow up with the up smash. Ooh, super close. That lightning attack is crazy, by the way. A little bit early going for the two frame. Oh man, Anguis getting propositioned in the chat. Wow. The patience from Anguis is just crazy. Like, the amount of times they just are waiting for them to do something versus just... Versus just panic do playing is cr it's just crazy. It really is. Giga needs to get down. He's having such a hard time with that. That might actually... No, not quite. Gets oomph. Give himself a little oomph for that attack. It's literally what it does. He's still got it as well as the... <gasps> oh! <laughs> Gets reflected back at him. But he's fine. Oh! That grab had to be a, a whiff or something. Or a uh, misinput, I mean. Oh. Oh, what a read on. Oh, he had the read too. He just did it too early. Oh, no. That's what I was worried about. Ooh. Oh, 
Fox, uh, Fox can send that that attack back at you by pressing down B. So, uh, who would have thunk? <laughs> who would have thunk? All right, so Anguis, guaranteed $25 in the bag, has made it to grand finals. That was a best of five. That is a 3-0 win for Anguis there. So, Anguis is going to be sitting pretty for a little while here. Right now, we're in top eight on loser's side. Loser's side top eight, we've got Jengarang versus Flop Flop. So, Flop Flop still in it. We've been seeing them in the chat. We saw them once earlier, the Donkey Kong. Flop Flop does advance versus Jengarang. Jason and Roro are on the other side of uh, loser's quarters here. I believe they are already playing. Soundwave and Flop Flop are, are uh, up on stream. So we've seen both of these players once before. Let's see how they stack up against each other. Should be a good one. So loser's quarters here. Loser gets fifth. Winner advances to semis against either Jason or Roro. Roro making it this far, taking out Delta and Yundere, as well as uh, Kohei9292 earlier in winners. Soundwave only recently sent into the loser's bracket by Anguise himself, so definitely no slouch either. If it does end up being Roro versus Soundwave, that was a match we saw on winner's side. Soundwave was the winner. And actually, Flop Flop versus Jason would also be a repeat of a winner's match in which Jason was able to take a 2-0. Remember that one being fairly close. If uh, Flop Flop's able to come into that set with some momentum, could see that potentially going the other way. I return, says Flop Flop. Can't be, you know, an archetypal hero if you don't announce yourself, you know? Let's go. That's my boy. <laughs> you drop in as Superman, you're wearing the big S on your chest. Here I am. Looks like we are going to see the Pyramithra once again. Pay no attention to the fact that that is a Lucina stock icon. It's the closest we got. All right, here it is. Whew. Some good damage from uh, Soundwave there. Looks like they've got some follow-ups. Ooh, the backer to backer. Oh, but that doesn't connect either. Because of the counter mechanic. That was a lot of damage. Gonna just rapid jab. But can she recover? I don't think so. I, I don't think that last backer was even necessary, but... Does it for good measure. That's going to be a big liability for Sound Soundwave if uh, if he can't break out of that cargo throw a little bit faster. That same interaction could repeat itself here for a lot of low percentage KOs. 
Flop Flop having a hard time following up on the up throw here. There it is Not again, really... right? You say it. Mm -hmm. Not really being able to keep track of him. Goes instead for the uh, tech chase, but can't follow that either. Oh, we love to see the. That's. I don't think Ooh. that's even like a B reverse thing. I think that's just a uh, momentum mechanic of the move. And the reverse giant punch! Flop flop. There it is. Flop flop looking like he wants to three stock this. Pyra out here doing big fire sword damage. And go all the way out there and not actually connect. <gasps> okay, oh, that wow. scared me a little bit there, but Soundwave able to put that stock to rest. Two stocks to one, though, and it's a Donkey Kong, too. Not going to be able to carry as far at the low percent. The higher percentage you are, the more difficult it is to mash out. Wave about a deafen this man. We're on we're on theme here. We're on brand. Ooh. It's stuffed with the down tilt. Is able to get a nair out of shield. But you're gonna need more than a nair out of shield to beat this monkey. Oh, that'll do it. That's just it. At that percent, Donkey Kong can just carry her off. He's gotta be mashing a little bit faster to be able to get out of that. Rapid fire mode. Quick reminder, by the way, there's a $25 prize for making it a certain way into the tournament. There's another $25 prize, though, that is decided at random. We'll be announcing who is the winner of that $25 prize right before grand finals. So anybody who's entered the tournament eligible to win that one, make sure you stick around. is apparently like one piece i've never bothered to get into that show at all i think someone showed me like one episode of it once and i was like eh, i can live without this in my life that's how i feel about anime <laughs> live without it i will not watch it there there are some good ones they're definitely Avatar The Last Airbender is the only anime I've ever watched. That's like borderline not anime. <laughs> yeah, there, there's that. Honestly, a little bit, uh, a little bit controversial what you just said, but I stand by I it. I stand by it so, as an anime. Some people say it is. It's like an Americanized one, but it's still anime. And then some people it's just like it is not. <laughs> I was like, I don't know. So Soundwave opting for the lore counter pick here, going for the the character that canonically defeats Donkey Kong in his very first appearance. We stand Mario. But uh, if you're into sci-fi, I, I think it, it's required viewing to watch Ghost in the Shell standalone complex. Uh, that's that's my hot take there. It is very well translated, does not it is not tropey, does not feel like a, an anime kind of anime. I think that anybody who can appreciate hard sci fi would be into that. Uh hard sci fi. Some people might get in my butt about that. It's a loose definition. even start here 
Mario and Donkey Kong, even though uh, it really shouldn't be in like in a real fight. <laughs> Donkey Don Kong is exponentially bigger than Mario. <laughs> than Mario here. And Mario can uh, just artificially increase the size of his fists. He's got a lot, a little of that uh, that Western animation squash and stretch business going on. <laughs> oh, that was frightening. Oh no! The up smash of all moves. A forward smash in place would have done it. But he goes for the up smash, the one smash attack that's gonna miss from oh, there. Oh, that'll do it. Yeet! Get off my stage. <laughs> Brett Favre in his prime right there. Ooh. Ooh. By the power of fire. Soundwave has Mc banished him. <laughs> that was Conor McGregor before the leg break. There you go. Like Luffy from One Piece. Oh my god, everything is One Piece to you people. How many rounds are left? This is Loser's Quarterfinals. So, if you're asking for like an actual number, there will be this round, the next round will be Loser's Semis, then Loser's Finals, and then Grand Finals. And Grand Finals might go to a set two. Oh. Oh, I didn't get the... Do anything too crazy on that follow-up. Any fans <laughs> of Super Smash Brothers in the chat? No, uh, sorry, we're Rocket League fans. True statement. Rocket League only. Eyes is legit grand champ in Rocket League, by the way. True. At my peak, I'd be just under the equivalent of Super Sonic Legend. By like 20 MMR, which is like two wins. Oh, gets turned around. Those giant punches are just they're spooking me a little bit, you know? Oh, he jumps into that, so, okay. Plays it safe on the recovery, which he needed to do because he didn't have a jump to work with. Great cross-up with the down air there. Soundwave making it really ambiguous what side of Donkey Kong he was going to land on with the down air and is able to capitalize on Flop Flop guessing wrong with the up smash. Oh, catches him with the up air. So much damage getting put on right now by Soundwave. This is such a huge combo. Holy crap. That was 99 damage for nothing. Wow. That might be the difference on this. Uh, <gasps> Gets knocked down, though. winning this game. Flop Flop not out of this yet. Needs to get his way back to center. Soundwave is all over him. He's so sticky. How do you unpeel this Mario? Oh, he tries to go for the down air, but too late. He has to up B. No edge guard. Gets grabbed. Oh, he wiggles out. Good mash. He's trying it again. Okay. Testing the mash. Soundwave's still okay. No, he's not. He gets back aired and Flop Flop is able to clutch it. Wow. Holy. <laughs> I'm making monkey noises over here. It is Monkey Thursday. <laughs> Reject humanity. Return to monkey. Flop Flop advances to loser's semifinals against Jason. Funky Kong cracked in Mario Kart Wii. Yeah, that's the only character I see people doing, like, time trials on. Oh, 
All right. I don't know why Flop Flop left. Flop Flop's still in this. It's only... You're in this until you lose, bro. That is the reality. People are going to see the end of your tournament, whether it's the win or the loss. This is going to be a, a rematch of a winner's side contest that happened uh, round three. So that'd be uh, winner's eighths. No, quarters. I'm a dummy. So winner's quarters match between Flop Flop and Jason. Jason won at 2-0. But uh, Flop Flop coming in, looking pretty hot off of that win against Soundwave. We'll see if maybe momentum plays a role here. Jason did drop a game to Roro. So, might have been a nail biter there as well. Hard to say. I'm sorry, but Monkey Thursday will take a short break. <laughs> so, the, either we're, we're getting a short bathroom break or something, or he's actually switching characters. Hard to say. What Thursday is it then? Out of touch Thursday? <laughs> Some nice keyboard noises. Like Weezer. <laughs> they got some bangers. They definitely got some bangers. Oh, hey, we've got a... Yeah, got a Roy and a Greninja. What? Okay, so we got Flop Flop on the Roy. Ensuring that even if it is not Monkey Thursday, he is still our boy. True. <laughs> what you are speaking is in fact fact. <laughs> All right, down throw to up air. I like the back air out of shield here. Respecting the Greninja recovery. Wow. Flop, flop. Flopping the Greninja around, flipping him like a pancake. Nice little nair there. Ooh. Oh, the reverse up B out of shield. Not going to connect, but... Pretty low risk, honestly. Not a lot the Greninja is necessarily going to do in that particular situation to punish. Just 10%, 15%. You can tank that when you're ahead. Oh, especially when you catch him with that Nair. Does not respect the Water Shuriken in the slightest. Still okay. Oof. You know, you got to think, Greninja's trainer threw him out here thinking that uh, he was going to win the tight matchup, right? Because Roy's, Roy's got fire. 
But in Roy's universe, I think the water would count as anima magic, and so it would be the same class as the fire, and so this is actually an even matchup. You think that was part of the mind game here? I, I think it was definitely thought this deep. <laughs> <laughs> also, uh, we gotta change to Jason, not Summit. Yeah, yeah, that's, uh, it's... That's probably kind of important, huh? Uh, yeah, that that was not calculated in their forethought, and that's why it didn't happen. Oof, the hard read on the roll. Oopsie off daisies, ledge. as uh, the kids say. Down throw, up air combo for Roy's, uh, getting him some mileage at low percents. Ooh, nice drag down off the platform. Oh, not able to follow up on it. Up B whiffs. What can Jason do to punish? The punishes are not quite there. The neutral game is fine. It's just he's not capitalizing quite as hard as he probably could. And it's not the easiest thing to do with Greninja either. Um, you're basically trying to combo into, I think, the forward air or the back air. I can never remember which one it is. This is bad. I, I lived in Arizona for so many years. I've seen Stroder play so many times, and I still don't know where that's the, whether that's the forward air or the back air. What was it? Was that just a forward tilt? Does that just kill? What? what is his character. I just mean, uh, he's our boy. There we go. Flop, flop. Our boy, flop, flop with our boy, Roy. Jason's Mega Man icon. Got props from Paradise June. Do we see the monk come out? The monkey. Monkey. I see no reason for Flop Flop to bring the monkey out until uh, Jason pulls out a Pokemon that's going to uh, beat it in a in its type matchup. I was really surprised to see Jason bringing the Greninja out with how successful the Pikachu was in the first match they played. Pokemon trainer? He just plays all the Pokemon. He's excited for Diamond and Pearl. I am as well, I understand. Huge Pokemon fan. So this is this is now five different Pokemon that we have seen Jason play. Well, that's almost a full team. You throw you throw in a Jigglypuff or a Mewtwo, in, and now that's you're getting ready for the uh, the championships. No, that would never be a legal team. Cause that'd be, or that would be a terrible team if it was Ubers. Imagine bringing a Pikachu to Ubers. I guess, I guess, like, Eviolite and maybe try and snipe with the legendary birds or something. I don't know. It doesn't seem like a good plan. Yeah, Any Pikachu is only, is only good in the TV shows. <laughs> well, and when it's level 80 against your level, like, 55 team at the top of Mount Silver. True. True. Red just look at you up and down, and he's just like, yeah, you're done here. <laughs> Red just looks at him, doesn't even say anything. No words. Every single character in the entire game has said something up until you ascended this mountain and found this child standing there, and he just looks at you, and a fight starts. With the sickest mu music that the, the series has ever had. Yep, all for you to have level boosted a Pokemon to level 100 and one hit all his Pokemon. 
<laughs> yeah, that happens, unfortunately. Going for the hard read there with the uh, charger with the smash attack. Nice little spot dodge. Oof. And we've got it. Beautiful raw back air setup there from Flop Flop. Flop Flop clearly has a strong Roy. Makes me wonder, is this a better character for them than the Donkey Kong, right? They've got Flop Flop DK in their name, but I don't know. Maybe that was, that was a Smash 4 made? Maybe they're trying to keep the, the dream alive here, but uh, the Roy is just such a strong choice for him. Could be, could be. But DK is bonky. That is a valid argument. I can back that. I can back that. Try to predict Ooh. the roll. Ooh. Just yeets him. Thrown backwards over the shoulder. Throw a Roy back over your shoulder for good luck. Jason Bulbasaur trying to fight probably. his way out of this corner. Ooh. Oh, I thought it was going to go for the up, uh, the up B there. Let's go for grab. Interesting. There it is. Ooh. Oh, too... I love the runoff back air. That was so smart. Down airs him into the turf. Plants him, but he's a... Oh. I was going to say plants him, but he's a plant. It's where he's meant to be, and then he just gets knocked off stage. He is built for this. He is not built to get hit with a flaming sword. Most most foliage is not. Nobody heard that. It's, uh, it's time to feed my cat. I shall return. It is feasting time for the mammal. Quick quick reminder to everybody. You might actually hear him meowing. Quick reminder to everybody that uh, we will be announcing the winner of the $25 prize right after this upcoming match. It will be right before Grand Finals, so right after Losers Finals, which is what we're into. Losers Finals is going to be Giga versus Flop Flop. Flop Flop, stay in here, Giga. Let's see what you got. Monkey. I am monkey. Monkey, I am. But, but, also, 
also kitty cat. Hehe, <laughs> look at the kitty. Such a good kitty. I would rather have monkey. <laughs> oh dang. I mean, are we gonna lie for everybody? <laughs> All right, fine. This puts us in a losers finals. I had the t the uh, round label incorrect. The last one was losers semis. This is losers finals. End of this match, we will be randomly deciding who gets the randomly decided twenty five dollar prize. But these guys are playing for money. You make it to second place, you've got twenty five dollars. So. This one is a big deal. It's going to be best of five. Let's get into it. We got Pac-Man, Donkey Kong, Flop Flop, able to get in there and do a pretty significant amount of damage already. Giga already on the back foot. Ooh, Donkey Kong, one of those characters is going to be able to get rid of that Fire Hydrant with a lot of different moves. So he does have the option of playing pretty aggressively around that. Yeah, he can kind of dash attack at it. Can weaken it with something and then swat it with an even weaker move. DK. Donkey Kong. DK. Donkey Kong is here. It's a fan favorite. The best song on the uh ultimate like album a hit on the uh spin back do it for monkey so in a pretty good lead right now but uh definitely oh uh what i didn't see, i don't see exactly maybe the uh up b dropped him down too far onto the trampoline Maybe I don't know or exactly just lost how that side of the trampoline. Works. I don't know, like where it was. Maybe he just gave up because he, did, he didn't think he had the resources. I thought Pac-Man did, but didn't have the facilities for that big mess. I like the threat with the pineapple there. That was really well played. Might try and charge for another one. Actually, just goes for the the apple for the combo with the fire hydrant there. Not gonna get the oh. KO though. Parry. Gets a good grab. Parry on a roll of a of an entire ape. I don't know how that worked out, but shields in this game Ooh. are just magic. You kind of gotta accept it. Like, is there really any anything on earth that is going to protect me from getting punched by a gorilla? No. But probably a building. Yeah. Ooh. Okay. There, there's okay. Things, but. Pac-Man doesn't have one of those things. True. This is a strong performance from Flop here. Really good catches on those no techs. Extended the combo quite a bit, but he's going to need a lot to make it back into this. This is an angry monkey staring him in the face. <laughs> Just, just lets a hard it read. <laughs> you will drop your shield here and just throws it. Still in it for now. Just going to keep throwing things. Gets the grab. Eats him off. Goes for the apple. And that might actually do it here. Oh, he's got the pineapple. Oh, and he reads it. Gets the back air. Does okay. do it. Giga's still in this. This is doable. Flop Flop's offense has really... Why do I say words? Why do I ever just open my mouth? Yeah, just shh, Just watch. Just watch. <laughs> T 
did it really? Did the auto mod really catch losers finals calling it for bullying? Come on. <laughs> it's... I wish I wish you could have like conditionals added to it like is the word losers followed by semis or by finals? If so, leave it alone. <laughs> oh my goodness. And yes, this is a best of five. This is for money. So definitely going to be a best of five here. Winner is up 25 whole dollars. That's a lot of ramen. That is like 24 ramen. How many DLC characters is that? Like, is that one. like four? <laughs> Depends what game you're playing, I guess. That's one Fortnite skin. <laughs> Okay, so it's twenty nine twenty nine ninety nine for six characters, so they're five bucks each. So plus tax, you're probably looking at four characters. Yep. If you're if you're able to cough up another, I don't know, like dollar, and you're probably good for the whole bunch of five. Go mow somebody's lawn for like three bucks, and then <laughs> and then you can get it for three bucks. Jeez. Well, what what do you normally charge for that? Well, what, that's going to take, like, two hours or something, I'm thinking. To mow a lawn? I don't know how big these people's lawns are. It's true. Oh. I guess that's true, but I was, I was thinking, like, ten minutes. <laughs> Oof. He actually makes full. <laughs> I was gonna say, wow, he actually makes it back from this. No, he doesn't. Again, it's me saying words. Wow, Giga's gonna survive. Oh, he spiked. I love that. <laughs> that B reverse sets him on fire, just like the caveman did. Oh, oh no. Wow. Flop Flop has just got that on lock. That is consistent. So Giga just can't recover low if it takes long enough that uh, the DK is waiting. Stop it. Oh, I thought it was going to happen again. Got to get in so, position first, but oh. So only the winner of this will be guaranteed money. Correct. 25 schmacks right on the line. Oof. Another hard read. Who? Great dodge. Good follow. He's hit him, hit so many people with that mix up on this stream, and I have to keep reminding myself that uh, not everyone has seen it. Uh... <sighs> okay, so uh, the hero not working out, unfortunately. That's going to put Giga with his back to the wall at a 2-0 deficit. It's not over. This is a best of five. Poof, but it's not looking not looking pretty. You think we see a new character? He goes back to Pac-Man. I feel like we. it's got to be the Pac-Man. The Pac-Man came close. Yeah. I agree. I think you either go back to Pac-Man or pull out a wild card. Ooh, Mitos is saying that they taught him this matchup, so seems like uh, there was some some knowledge going into that of the hero matchup. Maybe they do give hero another try. Well, that would be a reason not to, because he, he knows the matchup well. Oh. Yeah, we're, we're talking about Flop Flop knowing the matchup against Hero. Gotcha. I thought you meant uh, Giga with the matchup. I was like, oh, well then, maybe they tried, yeah. Syncrity, you don't have a lawn because you live in the desert. <laughs> it's also... unreasonable to have a lawn in most places, but even more so in the desert. Like, 
can't afford a lawn. Well, sir, you don't have a house. <laughs> you just buy a lawn only. <laughs> the most valuable resource. <laughs> I mean, land, I guess it would be a very valuable resource, but I don't know why you would make it a land, make it a lawn. <laughs> We're just gonna pull all the grass out and pile it up on your doorstep. Gonna give you a lawn without the land that it's on. Yeah, I bought a lawn three hours from my apartment so that I could uh, have a lawn. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna lease this lawn. No sense in owning it. It's a seasonal asset. I cannot believe that Packer missed. Yeah, I, I don't I'm entirely sure how that works. Timeshare Time share. lawn. <laughs> there we go. Now we're now we're talking. You get it two weeks a year. <laughs> Have a barbecue on. This is very close. Slight yeah, advantage, I would say, is. to Flop Flop. He's probably just a little outside of uh, KO percent right now. Ooh, great edge yep. guard. He was right. Is that a lock on or just not go off the map? The uh, oh, um, like, Pac-Man chasing his um, power pellet? I no, it was the the projectile they threw. They threw it, but it looked like it just either tracked Donkey Kong or just it doesn't go off the map or off the stage. Which so then one? Then it just stopped. Uh, like what color was like, it? It was like yellow on the top, I think. Um, I'll tell you when I. See. The, the pineapple uh, goes up in an arc, and then just kind of falls straight down almost. Oh, maybe that's what it was. Um, the pineapple stuns. That one's really scary. If he's got that near at high percent, you're just kind of... It's like Peach has a stitch face or something. You're just all on high alert. I'm surprised they didn't throw the punch there. That seemed like a prime opportunity to like give that a try. Great. Wall jump up. Two frame it. I really like the uh, spacing on that, whether that was intentional or not. Jeez, 171. Yeah, this is Donkey Kong. That's actually crazy. There it is. All right. Giga's got Giga this one last this. stock. Keep himself in this turn in this tournament. Yep, and for the twenty-five dollars, stay in the running for it. We have certainly seen crazier comebacks. Ooh. Looking really good Ooh, for Giga. Ooh, he gets the pineapple. Okay. One to one. This is looking good for Giga. Oh, well, they're feeling momentum it. Here. Flop Flop needs to get the offense going again. Goes to the grab off the hydrant. Oh, there there it is. Flop Flop's seen it before. Grab. Okay, good, a little bit of damage. I like the gig is not over committing. Taking the damage that he can get and then running away as need be. Nice. I think he's got the pineapple set. Is either that or the... It was like the Galaga. There it is. Oh. Projectiles flying out. Falls into it. Oh. Okay. He, he's going to mash out in time. <laughs> that back here was a little bit spooky. This is very even right now. Wanted that. Oh, oh. the hydrant. Yeah, the. 
Oh, he's stunned, but he can he hit it? Yes, he can with a ghost. Wow. And Giga finds a setup to take a game. What a comeback from Giga. Oof, okay. It's only got to do that twice more. It's fine. <laughs> Easy. You got you got to take it one at a time. You got to be thinking about just this next game and just this next game cuz if you think about it as having to do twice as much as the other guy, that can get overwhelming. Taking a second. Might just be that the uh, picks and bands are taking this long. Might be that they're taking a little bit of a break just to make sure they're all uh, set. So Flop Flop might be uh, thinking about the stage that he's going to pick here. Probably just want one that's fairly small. Take advantage of his uh, additional weight, his additional KO power. Being able to cargo throw and throw off the side of a stage with small blast zones would be huge for him. Jingarang wondering if we will see the Roy. I think he said, okay, back to Monkey Thursday. I have seen no announcements to the contrary. Flop Flop is locked in. There's Giga. Here we go. Same matchup. Let's see what happens. Yep. Okay, good start from Giga here. Seen him counterpick this stage a couple of times so far. Hydrant dead center. Gonna be getting in the way to the maximal amount. Flop Flop has just gotten a, it's really just been ship damage, but He's been getting a lot of it. Ooh, there's a good setup yep. there. That'll equalize a little bit. Side B will come through. Goes all the way out there for the Nair. Not going to find another one on the way up. But cargo throw. And he's able to just drop off and back air that. Flop Flop has got some pretty impressive edge guard setups with Donkey Kong. They both grab and miss each other because Pac-Man's standing on the Hydrant. Just sitting in shield, waiting for the, the pineapple to come out. And they both whiff. Oh, 
that was really well thrown. That was, I don't know if he intended to get that exact angle, but that would have covered Pac-Man if he didn't have invincibility on the ledge. Jeez. What a stock. Flop Flop taking the lion's share of the damage so far. It's interesting. Giga seems to know some setups for uh, moves that will knock the fire hydrant in the opposite direction. And he's pulling them out every now and again just to see if uh, Flop Flop's not Ooh. watching. Ooh, where's the recovery? Oh, no. Did he think just he had happened. a jump? Oh, man. We've seen oh. one of those once before from Giga. Just like a no recovery at all. Might be latency related or something, but... That puts him in a tougher spot right now. He needs to win this game to stay in the tournament. Oh, I thought the punch was coming out right there. I really did. These back airs are keeping Flop Flop out of Giga's airspace. Oh, beautiful use of the cherry. A little too early on the smash. Oh, and there's the giant punch. That's so much damage. Yep. Pineapple. Definitely got to go for the pineapple. Ooh, no. Go oh, for the, the key. key instead. I didn't even see it. I didn't either. You are definitely rewarded for getting to the end of that rotation of things. Yep. Great spot dodge. Gets the up throw up air and then just runs away. Oh, my God. Does he have this right now? No, he bounces off the wall. Is that it? Oh, now that's yeah, it. it is. <laughs> wow. Oh, no. All of that to just come wow. down to a recovery error. I mean, granted, great capitalization on that from Flop Flop, but oh, that almost looked like a Game 5 situation. That was really exciting. All right. So, wow. that sets up Grand Finals. Going to be Flop Flop versus Anguis. Before we get to Grand Finals, though, we have one more order of business. Flop Flop and Anguis have both got a guaranteed $25. But somebody else is going to be winning $25, too. We're going to decide that at random. I have up a spreadsheet of everybody who entered the event. Now, I wish I could show this to you, but I would be doxing everybody, so no. I have all 18 people here, and I've got a random number generator with 1 through 18. I'm going to click generate. I'm going to see who it is on the spreadsheet, and that will be the winner. So, here we go. It is Natty. We actually saw them earlier on stream. Congratulations, Natty. You have gotten $25. I'll put that in the announcements channel for you. Congratulations. For all prizes, uh, you will be reached out to by the providers of those prizes. That is not us, Bravest Esports. That is going to be your school. So we've got all of the different things you signed up with. We've got your email. Um, we've got your name. So they're going to be able to find you. We'll just pass that information on. So congratulations to Natty. And now it's time for grants. So, Anguise has not lost yet on this Fox. Flop Flop dropped in uh, winner's quarters fairly early on, but has fought his way all the way back for this shot at Anguise. I do not believe they ended up playing each other at any point in the bracket. They were on opposite sides in winners. So, this will be the first chance we get to see. Looking forward 
seeing how this one goes. They're going to be doing their strikes and bans. We'll get the announcement typed out real quick about Natty's win. It's Monkey Thursday. Monkey Thursday, Monkey Thursday. Wait a sec, you play Fox, don't you? Oh boy. <laughs> All right, it is temporarily at least Monkey Thursday. You know what? I'm going right. Okay. <laughs> Never mind. Monkey Thursday is dead. And Anguis killed it. <laughs> Roy's kind of cracked, though. It's kind of nuts. Three one is my prediction. It don't matter. Roy's our boy. We've got something to type in caps lock and chat. So dang it, it's fine. We love caps lock. We love caps lock. Okay. So Fox versus Roy, two very zippy zoomy characters. Roy going to have, I would say, a little bit of an advantage in terms of follow-up. But uh, Fox going to have a better recovery. Potentially better movements. They're, they're a smaller target. They're a little bit faster. Just a question of uh, whether that sword can be brought to bear in neutral. Roy does have some crazy stuff off of jab. Can actually combo jab into raw back air, where back air is a KO move. Here we go. Oh, I still haven't switched him from, from Donkey Kong. That won't do. All right, here we are, Grand Finals. Up, you had a shield, does not hit. Been going for that reverse. I, I don't know if I've seen it hit yet so far. I like the patience to not roll in. Still gets punished, but not as hard as he would have if he had rolled in. Good patience there. Anguis going to try and put on some pressure and get Flop Flop to commit to something, but Flop Flop, more than any other opponent he's seen so far, is not biting all the time. As I say that, he commits to an up smash. Try and catch him out of the up the side B. Not going to do it. Anguise is just so good on these reactions. He's so good at waiting for his opponent to commit to something and then immediately responding to exactly what they reacted to. He's not trying to let his predictive brain take over. He's seeing what did they do. Okay, that's the thing that I need to punish. Not guessing. Yeah, he's been pretty impeccable this whole time with that. Really even so far. Oh, that's... We've seen... Uh, actually, we've seen Anguiz go for a lot of those kinds of forward smashes. Doesn't matter. <laughs> Jab into forward air. Gonna do it. Down throw, up air, up air. Trying to keep the juggle going, but Anguiz able to capitalize on the overcommitment. Oof. Anguise setting him up, making him think he has to approach because he's going to shoot the lasers, and then he just puts a nair in the way. That, that's a melee thing. Yeah. 
Oh, goes for the forward smash. And I called it earlier on this tournament. At some point, he's going to run into an opponent who's not going to get hit by that F smash. And when it does, it becomes a liability. Ooh, beautiful from Flop Flop. Wow. Nick Sanguiz thinking he's going to go for a faster attack and instead just goes for it. Great spacing on the up B to not get too framed. Oh, and the back air not going to connect. I was surprised he didn't go for an up air, actually. Sanguis on the back foot here. Up throw. Trying to patiently wait for that up air. Gets the jab, but not able to get anything that's going to KO. That's what he needs right now. Oh, and he goes too early. So he's forced to dodge. Sanguis just goes for a raw side. He almost KOs. Needs to take this stock here. Oh no, when he lets go shield too early. He's trying to get in, trying to put on some pressure, but Flop Flop knows he doesn't really have to approach. That was wild air steer off the up. He did not get KO'd. Again, dodging the down smash. Flop Flop goes for a hard up smash, but Anguise is already rolling, so he can't punish. And that just does it. Shield poke? No, he's not dead yet. <laughs> KO'd by side B at 180? What? All right, that's game. Oh, that'll do it. Huh. Flop Flop looking incredibly strong on the Roy here. Yeah, and Guise almost looked almost cold. Like, just didn't... Didn't have the spacing as well. Wasn't reading them as well, like as quick as they were. I think may maybe the maybe they're a little cold in game one. It might also be a situation where he's up against an opponent who is both faster and potentially is just uh, reading a little bit further ahead. Um, yeah. So there were a couple of tricks that Anguise is throwing out there that Flop Flop isn't biting on. They've been working up up until this point in the tournament, but. Now we got to get into into good player mode. No no goofy gimmicks. Nothing that you throw out there to see if they run into it. Got to just win it with solid play here. Have we seen Anguise play anything other than Fox? I don't think so. No, I don't think so. I think just Fox. So, probably just stepping out to change the stage. We'll see. Yep. Back to the Fox Roy that we saw before. And down with a nice snare. Ooh, that's punishable, and he, oh, he doesn't run up for it. I would have just run up and up smashed at that point. Go for the damage, because the grab is going to take too long to get to him. Ooh. I love the drag down idea. The flop flop able to get out of it. Good punish. No down smash. That has not been successful for Anguis so far, but it, it can't hurt to go for it. Good grab there. Good uh, grab. Wait, ooh. Anguise has been in the driver's seat so far. Had a couple of opportunities, but Flop Flop is hanging in there. Ooh, <laughs> a little bit scary. Goes all the way out there. Anguise can get up and over it, though. Flop Flop. Kind of just letting it back on. Great Ooh. up smash. Okay, Anguise. Good wherewithal to jump out of that situation. Falling down on the Roy was definitely not the play. Able to delay it and get in with an air. Oh, but there it is. Great follow-up. 
Great follow up. Mm -hmm. Flop Flop has got that reaction unlocked. Great pressure from Angui. I love him just standing next to him, daring him to do something. This is so good. The way that Anguis is weaving in and out unpredictably. That's good damage. Anguis, so patient. Oh, but Flop Flop just comes up with a jab that actually catches Anguis. Oh, charged up smash. That's a bit of an overcommitment. Flop Flop going to get a grab out of that. Let's see what more he can get and misses the re grab. Down tilts him into a corner. Not going to reach. That's the, that's not Marth. Forward smash off the level. Not going to be able to two frame with anything. Oh, that forward tilt so dangerous. Just a little bit too far with the jab. And the up smash will take him out. Anguis poised to... Get a little bit of extra credit here. Give himself an advantage on the last stock, although he's off stage right now. Just recovering all the way back to top platform. Taking zero chances. As I say oh. that, oh, okay. I, I'm going to consider that calculated. I'm not going to consider that one calculated that he got dash attacked in the face. No, that was part of the plan. Oh, okay. You wouldn't understand. It's, uh, it's, it's top tier gameplay. So much pressure from Anguis. Able to get a jab combo and not much else. Actually overcommits on the forward air. That's scary. There's the grab. What can Flop Flop do off of grabs, though? Oh, didn't swing. Anguis needs to find a way oh, in. He's getting parry. everything shielded. I like the choice oh, to hit. back air. He's still safe. He can still keep this edge guard going. But he takes away his ability to back air by... Oh, no! Oh, wait, wait, wait. Again, I'm a melee player. For this, I apologize. Trades, well, unfortunately, and actually gets stage spiked by the Roy recovery there. That was definitely techable, just not a situation that you, you draw up. So flop flop on reset point now. Bonguis wants to win this in grand final set one. Going to have to win three in a row. Yep. Indeed, indeed. We stepping out for a minute. Let's see, uh, they've got a different stage choice that they've got in mind. Diddy Kong, all right. First we've seen of this character. So one thing that uh, Anguis will be able to do with this is set up traps. Kind of play a little bit more of a setup game instead of having to win all of your neutral interactions. Similar speed to Fox. Similar kind of maneuverability. He does still have that uh, weak projectile he can poke with. It's just a question of, uh, do you know your ranges? Do you know your setups? Do you know your game plan in neutral? Yeah, this is an interesting character change. Not not exactly what I was expecting, but maybe Flop pulls out uh, Donkey Kong on the yeah. next one. I've watched a good amount of uh, Jumbo Jack sets, so 
I do kind of know what I'm looking at here. Good patience for Monguise, as always. Yeets him off backwards. Threatens the edge guard. Goes for the down air. Not going to get it. Down air does spike on Diddy. There's another back throw. I'm surprised he's not going for the banana ledge trap. You, uh, he was in the exact position. You just drop a banana behind you there. And uh, if they do neutral get up, they just slip. And you're able to just be there with a, a forward smash ready to go. So it just automatically takes one of their options away. I, I feel that there's really no reason not to do it. Because then you can stand at a range to cover the roll in. If they jump, you can react to that. I think it's really difficult to deal with. It takes a little bit of a stall. There's no easy solution. There we go. There's the banana and F smash. It's Diddy's bread and butter right there. And again. Oh. Oh. That was nice. And that was not. Uh, what dead. happened there? Got a little carried away. Didn't have a jump. And uh, Diddy's up B does take a little while to charge up. So you're going to fall a little ways before you can use it. It's deceptive how far it goes. Yeah, sometimes you get cooking so hot that you just kind of let your your intuitive brain run wild and free, and it uh, takes you places you don't want to be. But as we say that, wrapping up this stock, really good clean ledge trapping with that banana there. Oh no! Oh, oh! You don't want to be putting yourself off stage. That's just no bueno. That is one of the big uh, weaknesses that he will have relative to Fox is the recovery. Love the monkey flip. Nobody ever expects monkey flip, even after you've done it 30 times. True. That's where they get you. No one will do it 31 times, but that's where you're wrong. So even right now, but... There are so many setups that Roy could get going here, and Anguise really needs to be on the ground. Well, that'll do it. Yeah, it gets, just gets caught trying to come down. So, that wasn't a bad outing for the Diddy Kong. I think if he wants to go for it, that could still be a close set on set number two. I agree. But that is where we find ourselves. Grand Finals set two. Everybody's a loser now. Let's go. We are all losers together. All right. This set will uh, will not determine who gets $25. They both get $25. But it will determine who wins the tournament. And I, I got to imagine that that matters for both of these players. And it matters to the rest of us. I, I, I think that's a fair assumption. So here we go. We're going to go through our uh, standard procedure for strikes and bans for game one. Going to take him a second to get it all figured out. Going to take Angui a second probably to figure out whether he wants to stick to the Diddy Kong or go back to Fox. Uh, I think both are doing pretty well. Well, they're both getting pretty close. Mega Man and throws us curveball here. All right. Super fighting robot here to save the world. Looking pretty good so far. 
knows what he's doing. This was not the character switch I was anticipating, for sure. It's a very different play style from the other two characters. Like, I understand someone playing both Fox and Diddy, but uh, Megan is a little different. I do understand, though, with the projectiles, how this could be beneficial versus Roy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Roy really needs to approach. Process. So that's going to put uh, Flop Flop in a lot of situations where he's kind of just running it on Guis, who is very patient and may well be able to capitalize on that. Ooh. I don't know where the up smash was going there. Both players kind of fumbling a little bit, going for their KO setups here. F. Oh my god, come on. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I say back that and back. they just back to back. It's like, come on. <laughs> Ooh. Gotta go for the spike. Great use of the leaf shield there. Lots of damage. Good grab. Great follow up from. Oh no, no, that is not where he wanted to be. Oh no, no! How did he know? Wow. How did he know that Flop Flop was going down there? Oh my. Hang on. slide in there great fox trot away from anguish anguish keep trying to say anguish oh That's... didn't go for the uh go this is a really good edge guard even if it doesn't quite ko yet because it just tacked on so much extra damage and there was no counter play oh the counter first time we've seen flop flop do that all match oh got stuck Oh, tried to read the uh, hit there. Oh, oh another hard go for a dash through grab on the spot dodge. Beautiful first hit neutral air into jab into raw back air. Classic Roy stuff, but perfectly executed in a situation it really needed to work. Doesn't matter, he's dead. Wow. Game one Before... going to Anguise after getting swept in set one of Grands. And before you know it, you've been spiked. And it do be like that sometimes. Yeah. I think you made a really good point about the uh, projectile game against Roy, because, you know, Roy needs to close the distance. Yeah, it, it was tacking on a significant amount of damage. And even if even if it wasn't, the, the fact that there could be projectiles getting thrown out makes it so that Flop has to play differently. Right? He's jumping more. He's staying up. Instead of being able to run on the ground and use the speed, he's trying to dodge projectiles, which obviously, I mean, paid out was adding on those, that just extra bit of damage. Mm -hmm. And like the chat is saying, I think a lot of credit needs to go to Anguise's edge guarding there. There were just so many situations where Flop Flop got stuck in a loop of 50, 60, 70 damage that he's taking just from getting edge guarded over and over again. Yeah was it was pretty impressive thanks for the follow Jenga Rang. and also Yundere and M Marino M Marinorgshock I, I don't know where the different syllables end and the next begin <laughs> 
Thank Where, you, what does it all mean? Oof. This Mega Man ledge guard is definitely well practiced from Engui. Mm -hmm. You think this is his main? You think he just played the whole rest of this tournament with secondaries and this is him getting forced onto his main? Maybe? <laughs> yeah, you know what? After uh, after after that, yeah, you might be right. Or suddenly we have just seen someone find their main. That is also possible. <laughs> And he still got him. Oh, my. 66? Uh, this is three-stock territory. Th this is actually absurd. Mega Man looking you... like a better sword character than Roy right now. It, it's either... Either they've just... Either this matchup is just really beneficial to Mega Man, or... Anguis has completely figured out all the timing of flop, and now it's just capitalizing time. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Just like the, knows everything they want to do now. That might be it. Just dunks him. Oh, it's it. And he goes no. for the disrespectful <laughs> footstool. Oh no! How could you do it to him like that? Jeez. Wow, that. Do you, do you switch characters if you're flop? The Donkey Kong is the other one that we've seen. I don't know that I like Donkey Kong in this matchup either. Really slow, hits hard, but slow with no way to really protect from projectiles. I'm trying to think of combo weight. I'm trying to think, if Donkey Kong gets on top of Mega Man, what can he do? Because that's really, yeah, but, if, you, if you're going to go DK, that's the advantage you're hoping for. Better oh. punish game. All right, he's going yeah, for it. I think Anguise can get out of a lot of it because of the projectiles, because of the leaf guard, the like metal disc. I don't, I don't know. I can't remember the actual name of it. I, I, I used to play Mega Man. But I can't remember what it was called. Like Iron Man or something. <laughs> um, it just. Oh I don't my know. God, that's so sick. Platform setups. And, oh man. Is Donkey Kong easier to edge guard? Is he harder to edge guard than Roy? They're both pretty bad at recovering. He is heavy at, though. At least Does Donkey. Heavy. True. It's gonna last a little longer. And the other thing is, DK, his horizontal is better. His vertical is bad. Oh my but god. But Roy's uh, isn't great, and uh, he doesn't have the horizontal either. So I would actually give it to Donkey Kong a little bit in terms of recovery. You just gotta avoid the down airs, and you have the horizontal to get around it if you're really looking for it. We were seeing stocks get taken about a minute and a half in, and Inguis is taking stocks 30 seconds in. I'm not sure about the stage here. I feel like. The platforms are kind of letting Anguise have a lot of setups for punish game. Ooh, and they're also kind it. of getting in flops away. Oh. oh. Thought he had a jump or something. I don't know. Are we going to get back to back sweeps? All right. Oh, no. Oh, he let him back well on. played. There we go. There we go. Really good okay. there. And then he's right back in there. 50 damage. Gets dunked. That's it. Wow. Anguise wins the tournament. This Mega Man is actually nuts. <laughs> actually so nuts. Holy. Wow. He just, he just really said, this isn't even my final form. <laughs> Have you seen Mega Man? <laughs> it just pops off. Only came out once he got into losers, and then he did not lose. Wow.
Wow. Insane. Just different. Really, just different. All right. Wow. Well, yeah, that's, something. that's going to do it for the tournament. So huge congratulations to Natty, to Flop Flop, and to Anguise for all winning $25 from the school. The school itself will be reaching out to you guys. We have your information, and we've passed it on to them, so don't worry about it. They'll be reaching out to you directly. Um, that is not going to be through us. We are Bravest Esports. We are some contractors who have been brought in. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Appreciate all of the follows on the channel. You guys have been great. It's been a fun time casting with you guys. Some good Smash Ultimate that we got to watch tonight. So Indeed, indeed. We are Bravest Esports. Our mission is to build esports communities from the grassroots level by providing support for events, by providing training, and by running a little bit of stuff on our own as well. So if you... If that seems interesting to you, by all means, check out our channel and check out our website. Um, we also have a community Discord if you want to keep in touch with these people and all of the other people who have joined us from the other events that we've run all the way across the country. Check out this community Discord server there. I'm in there every day. I'm a competitive Splatoon player, and so I, I talk quite a bit to Splatoon people on there. There's also a Smash chat in there whole bunch of different games that people have joined us to play so feel free to check that out and say hi to us again on the way in congratulations to anguise for first place congrats to flop flop for second and a very respectable third went to giga and the pac-man thank you everybody for coming out that is going to be it for the night i am jem this has been eyes have a good night, everybody. Peace.